mother, what is it? Huh? What is it? I wish I had opened up a business in this village. We would have had something to fall back to now. Mother. Mother. A lot to regret and brood about. But there is something you need to know. Once there is life, there is hope. We should thank God that we survived. Right? Everything will be fine. We have a lot of cleaning to do. Let's go inside, please. Let's okay. go and start. Our God will help us. Amen. Our God will see us through, please. Amen. Thank God we survived. Football, not <laughs> handball. Daddy, you carried it with your hand. It is a foul. But there is yes. a ball inside now. Whether it is handball or football, there is a ball. It is not a foul. The new FIFA rule allows it. <laughs> yes. FIFA. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I just did it. FIFA. Yes. What FIFA are you talking about? Uh, the FIFA, you know. You, you mean the, the, the proper guy FIFA, eh? <laughs> What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by market <laughs> This is international world FIFA, FIFA. rules. <laughs> and mommy just scored. Whether there is a handball or there is a football, there is a ball. There is a ball. A goal. A goal is a goal. A goal is a goal. Uh -uh. Oh, oh. But, but let's be serious for one minute. Yeah. What of you didn't tell me that uh, you have been engaged by FIFA? Oh. That you have big appointments? Mm -hmm. yeah. Please, ah. just give me my own share of the... Foreign Give calls. us that is only you. Ah. Which oh now you agree that it's FIFA rules, hey. Abi? Ah, because if I just now you want to we are wondering. We are now you want to collect money, Mama? It's a goal. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> this match is over. It's not true. Ah. That's 
Welcome, How you doing? How are you? Dance, dance, my boy. Dance, my boy. How you doing? Look at me. Wow, you quite enjoy yourself. Wow, that the guess what? Guess what? Wow, oh my God! Look at this, my American visa is stamped. Wherever you are, come back. Come back. Where are you? Where are you? Come back. Come back to me. Come back. happened again. What has happened that has left you this devastated Ugoji? Yes, Barista Ugoji. I knew you to be a very emotionally strong man. But what went wrong? Talk to us. She left. <laughs> My wife, Teresa, has left me. Chief Anolo. How? Why? I begged her. I cried to her all through the night. I even agreed to allow her to be doing it outside and accept the product of whatever that comes out of it. And she agreed. She even gave me her words that she will not leave me like the three wives I had before her. She was all smiles when I was leaving for the court earlier today. I even left my car behind because she asked me to, saying that uh, she wanted to go to Okigwe to buy something with it. I never knew that she was lying to me. Teresa lied to me. She, she left our marriage in, in my absence. She left and dropped this miserable note for me. I have left. The option you suggested is not one I'm ready to accept. Any valuable of yours you can't find in the house was taken by me, including your car. If you try to come after me directly or indirectly, even for reason of begging me, I will expose everything. No, Teresa, no.
I understand this. But what is it she threatened to expose? And... Please, my darling, that is not a relevant question. It is relevant, Chief. How can something that has cost me one, two, three, four marriages not be relevant? It is relevant, Chief. Oh, if not here. Where are you? Where are you, if not If not please come back. Call me if you are still alive. I swear, I can trade the whole world to get you back. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Barrister. Chief, I mean it. I mean every word of it. I can give anything, even my life for Ifnaya. Who is Ifnaya, darling? Chief, please tell her. I don't care. Tell her everything. Okay. She was the family's house help in Kano 29 years ago. He fell in love with her and their secret affair resulted in pregnancy just after he left law school. But his parents will have none of it. They were quite rich and famous back then. And he was their only son. The girl was equally an only child. But she was an orphan, with both parents dead, and they left nothing for her. For three weeks, his parents fought him physically and psychologically. And in his absence, one day, they sent her away. Till their death a few years ago, they refused to tell anyone where they sent her to. And no one has seen her since then. Even up till today. Out of anger, Barrister permanently severed all relationship with his parents. And he moved out of their house. It was why he was going from city to city in the northern region in search of her that he had this auto accident that that rendered me impotent. Say it, Chief. I am impotent. I sustained a serious injury in my waist region in the accident that left me totally incapable of producing sperm cells. I can't even achieve a reaction. I am only a man in words. I am nothing. No, what? Nothing. Barrister, take it easy. Take it easy. Pull yourself together. It is well. Do I look like a harlot like you? Eh? As you look at me, do I look like a harlot? Idiot! You have no shame. Why should you ever mention such a thing to me? I'm only a little baby. Oh, why can I beg you to say? Enough, Will you shut up? Shut up and don't say a word. I'm not as useless as you are. You have no shame. Eh? Don't why should you ever mention that? Don't don't at me. Say it, Meg. Okay. What? Is there any big deal in this? Big deal. Okay. Let's not speak. Oh, that is no big. Baba, 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 ba
Let me smash your head. 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 Let me smash your she deserves to live here with a, a, a bleeding head. What is eh? going on here? What is going what on? What is all this nonsense? Mama, what is it? And I'm off here. Can you come down? You, 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 you think I'm a harlot like you? Mama, Idiot. Mama, Mama, come Let's down. Let's go. To you told me that Madame Egodi is your friend. What is going on? Let us go. Eh? Let us go. Mama, can you hear me? Let's go. You have to thank your God. Mama. You have to thank your God Mama. that I did not smash your head. Mama, if stop. you go to church, eh? Just thank God. Mama, stop. I'm, I'm not here. Okay. Useless fool. Okay, Let us go. Can you hear me? What happened? Yeah. I don't have time for what that. Happened? What happened? I have no time for that fool. Yeah. Let us what go. Happened? Let us go. Yeah. I know you are God. Please take absolute control of everything we are going to do today. That at the end, your name and your name alone will be glorified. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Wakey. Oh, you're up already. Yes. How are you? Mm. How was your night? Very well. Oh. Very well, and yours? Well, well, I slept great. I can see that. Dad and Mom said you should come downstairs for morning devotion. Wait, wait. Morning devotion? Mm hmm. Why? But we do that only on Saturday morning. And today is Tuesday. <laughs> Why? Well, as they say, change is the only constant thing in life. So, move. Right away. I'm going to go back to bed. I would. <laughs> Move. Let's go. We have our morning prayers. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? <laughs> so How old are you now? Going to tell us how old she is. That's so not cheating. Go ahead. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. <coughs> I am 25. <laughs> <laughs> Many more years yes. to you. Many more years to you. Many more years. Many more years. Many more years. Thank you, bro. Yes, baby girl, come. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have the best family in the world. Yeah. Say that again. Thank baby. you all. <clears throat> Say, my dear daughter, best of the best to you today and all. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, baby. Make a wish and blow your candle. So I will. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This cake is beautiful. Well, it is from moi to the best sister in the world. What? Huh? Wow, baby, you got this cake for me. I did. I'm oh. right here. Oh. <laughs> you are my love sister. I love you so much, right? I love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, darling. Okay. My wish mm -hmm. is okay. more love, mm -hmm. more, more love, mm -hmm. and even more love. Amen. Amen. Wow! I 
that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, go out there. Ta -da! Happy Ta -da! 25th birthday from all of us with love. I'm proud of you, thank yeah. you. It's beautiful. She deserves it. Yeah. This is the last one, okay? God knows, Mama, this is the last one, please. Eh? This is the last Look at my hand now. Eh? Oh, it's sorry. full of blisters. Sorry. Ndo. I can't even hold the piston well. Sorry. Uh, manage. Oh. Eh? See, uh, I promise you, this won't last for long. Eh? As soon as we raise enough money to erect that shop that you are building. Ah! Hey! Welcome! Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Well done. Yeah. Hey. Mm How's your cookie fresh? Oh, my. You want to buy? How much? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 Five. Don't worry, if you come next time, I'll give you five. You know you're one of my best customers in this village. Oh, What's up your mother? She's fine. Send me word to her, eh? I will, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Now, you know, let me see how your face will be today. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry for you. I'm so sorry for putting you through this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I enjoyed myself. Hey. Oh, yes. Hi. Oh, my God. Yeah. Please, if the blisters in your palms will not let you continue for today, look at please. Let me finish it. Hey. Yeah? I don't have chance at all. Let me finish it. Because in the next six days I have others that have booked me for work. Yes, I don't I don't have chance, please. Let me finish it. Some of them have even paid me part payment Chai. for it. Yeah? I'll finish it. Don't worry, I'll use my left hand and finish it. Hey. Yeah, you are such a delight to watch in this village. 
Eh? Unlike some of our youth, most of them, they are just there doing nothing. You are so humble, hardworking and obedient. Eh? In fact, all mothers in our village wish you were her son. I myself, I do. Hey! It's okay, Bumo. Thank you so much. I am honored. Thank you. My dear, God will bless you. Amen. And God, God will bless will you too. God surely bless you in his own time. Amen. Eh? Amen. Remain blessed, my child. Amen. I will Please. finish it. Don't worry. Please be careful. Mm? No worry. No 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 I will finish it. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. Because we want money. Food, please. No gym. Oh, you going to ask you. Biko. Thank you, ma. This is good, Barista Goji. This is really good. Just exactly as I wanted it. Yeah, come on, Jim. You know, we, we are friends since childhood. <laughs> and I've been your personal and company lawyer for over 20 years now. So I can tell your mind, you know, without uh, much explanations from you. You have proved yourself to be a very good lawyer. And a very reliable friend. <laughs> Can I sign it now? Of course, yes. <laughs> Please show me. Of course. So, where do I sign? And this one, uh, we take it to the court um, to file it in court as their own copy. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's okay. Uh -huh. Chief, um, you, you, you promised to tell me why you suddenly de decided to do this. <laughs> <laughs> of my wife and my daughters, especially Chinyere. Through hard work and careful investment in the agro business sector, real estate and shares purchases, I have, by the grace of God, built a multi-million business empire in the last 27 years. And my wife has been part of it every step of the way. All my children have contributed ideas and more to this company. I am not expecting anything to happen to me anytime soon. But you know, these are things no one can predict. And I will not like a situation where my wife or any of my daughters will suffer abuse or lack of any salt. Because of our customs and tradition, denying them the opportunity to inherit my assets on account of the fact that they are women 
when I'm gone. No, not my wife and my daughter. I love them too much. I love all of them. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Uh, but why insisting that your only son, Harry, should not have the controlling 51% shares of your company? As their only son, he's no. just so... Uh, no, no, no. He is my child. So are uh, Amarachi and Chinime. Barista. I do not subscribe to any child having majority of the shares on account of sex. You see, that is why I decided to give all my children and my wife equal shares of 25% each. If any of my children desires to have more, let him work. Let him set up his own personal business after schooling. There's only one thing I owe all of them as my children. Is good upbringing and the best of education. And for those two areas, my wife and myself, we have done and we are still doing our best to make sure that they get the best of it. By the way, I discussed everything concerning the world with my children before I gave you instructions to write them. You did? Of course, yes. Oh, so, uh, what is the reaction, especially uh, Henry? Henry has no problem with it. And what? the same attitude for the other children. Huh? Yeah. I, have, I am happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy for you, my friend. Thank you. Uh, cheers to that. Cheers. cheers. This is what we call process. Yeah. <laughs> cheers to our friendship. Oh, cheers to our friendship. <laughs> I'm done. My luggage is in the car. Uh, okay. Henry, Mommy? are you sure you packed all you needed to? No, Mom. Mm -hmm. Don't you trust yes. us? I'm Rachi and I made sure we packed everything in this room. Is that like a king? Well, Not even. Everything. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Not everything in this room. It's fine. We should treat him like a king, actually. Yeah. I trust you, girls. I know what you can do. Mm -hmm. But don't blame me. Mother will always be a mother. <laughs> that statement reminds me of my own mother. Hmm. Mama will oh. always treat me like that little boy. Aww. That little carefree boy. Hmm. When I got married and had kids. I beg, I beg. My mother-in-law's own was something else. Such a beautiful soul. Aww. I miss her a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you are like that too. <laughs> you are even worse. <laughs> worse. Mom! You treat me like I'm I'm, I'm one uh, one year old one year. little baby girl. Like you're still in her womb. <laughs> no matter how big you are, you're still my baby. Oh Don't my God! Oh, what? All right, all right. All of it said. Henry is wash because he has a yes. two p.m. flight to catch. That's yeah. true. Of course. True. Then catch a connecting flight from Lagos to New York. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well. Mama, please don't tell me you're sick. Eh? Don't tell me you're sick, please. Oh, eh, Mama? The way I'm feeling of recent. Yeah. I've been trying to hide it from you all this while. Really? The pain under my abdomen is so excruciating. Oh, sorry, Mama. Sorry. Mm. Eh? Let's go inside. Eh? Let's go inside. I will take you to the hospital. I don't even have money to take you. But I'll try. The eh? way I feel now, eh. it scares me. Ah. Sorry, sorry, mm. sorry. Ah. Mama. Ah. mama, 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 okay. mama, don't do this. Mama, 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 who is here? Who is here? Please, somebody should help me. Somebody should help me. Mama, 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 mama,
Mama, Mama, Mama, Mama, Mama, Mama, Pico. Yeah! Yeah! Yes. Come in. Doctor, you said for me. Yeah. Sit down. How are you? I'm fine, Doctor. Yeah, uh, the teaching hospital has sent us the result of the test carried out on your mother. Okay. I just finished going through it, and I sent for you. Oh, okay. Uh, um, doctor, so what's in the report? Hmm. Your meant from the report, your mother has a malignant cervical cancer. What? And with the way it is spreading, it is only an urgent specialist surgery that can give her a survival chance. Cancer? My mother? How? Why? Doctor, why? My mother? How? How, Doctor? Ebuka, calm down. Hmm? Calm down. I'm not finished. You see, the operation costs 850,000 Naira. What? And it has to be done on or before the next four weeks. Else, our situation will become irredeemable. 850,000 Naira? In the next four weeks? Doctor, I don't have it. Where do I get 850,000 Naira, Doctor? You uh, see, the, the good news is that the equipment needed for these operations are here. And the medical experts who carry out the operations are my shoulders. They'll be here to carry out the operation and it'll be home and dry. Doctor. Like I said to you last week, my mother and I, we came back to the village a few months ago. It wasn't by choice, Doctor. But because the issues of life forced us to... I, I, I do, I do. I have not forgotten the story you told me last week, Ebuka. I have not. <laughs> well, you see, I quite sympathize with you. But in the circumstance, there is nothing I can do. A surgeon has to be paid. And the needed drugs are expensive too. In fact, this is the best price you can get anywhere for such um, surgery. I mean, even from government owned hospitals. You can make inquiries if you doubt me. Doctor, please, I'm not in doubt. I don't want my mother to die. Doctor, please, please help me. She's my life. She's my everything. I don't want to lose her. I, I will look for money. I will look for money. But please, let my mother not die. Please, please. Please, I don't want my mother to die. Please, doctor, please. Come sit down. Yo, 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 yo. Sit down, sir. Sit down first. So you see, you have to deposit 250,000 naira immediately for the preparation of the surgery to commence. That one is non negotiable. Except if you want to take your mother back home and watch her die. This is all I can do. You know I do not own this hospital. Let's try. Thank okay. you, doctor. I will try. Even though I don't know how to get the money, but I will try my best. God, no. My mother will not die. My mother she will, will not die. I will not allow her to die. I will try my best. I like the film. Thank you. I like the film. Thank you. Please. Don't allow me to die. Please. Mm -mm. 
Me? Help me. How, mother? You do anything possible to make sure you help me. How, mother, how? When Boko Haram terrorists overran Mobi City, we escaped with nothing but the clothes on our bodies. When everything was over, we returned to the city to find our properties and businesses completely destroyed. We resolved to come back to the village, which we did. Mother, you know that we came back to the village with nothing. We were trying to find our pieces when you came down with this sickness. And you are telling me to help you. How in God's name will I find 250,000 Naira for the hospital bills within four weeks in this village when I know no one, when I have no one, when we have nothing, mother? How do I do it? I don't know what except God. How do I help you? How will I help you? How? How? Mother, how? We will not die. We will not die. I promise you. I don't want to leave you. You will not die. Nothing will happen to you. I will try my best for you. I will. I am your son. I will try. You will. I will try my best for you. You will not die. I will look for money. I will try. Mm -mm. You won't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You will not die. The news left my mother and I completely devastated. There is no easily disposable valuable belonging to us that we have not sold. There is no family in this entire village that we have not gone for help. None admitted having money to help us or even to lend us money. I even offered a few portions of land my mother purchased in this village years back. But none admitted having money to buy or even lend us money with the land as collateral. Mother, you are my last hope. Please, help us. Please. I'm begging. Help me save the life of my mother, my dying mother. Help me save her life, please. She is your friend. Help me. Patience is indeed a profitable virtue. It pays to wait patiently. I'm sorry, Ma. I do not understand what you're talking about. Eboka. I am Dora's childhood friend. Did she not mention to you despite that friendship why she nearly killed me the last time I was at your end well she said she do not want to talk about it was there a I'm sure she never mentioned me to you afterwards am I wrong it's alright you don't have to say it I know supposedly that she has sent you to other people in this village before sending you to me. Hmm? Well, your silence says it all. I'll try it, ma'am. 
She wasn't the one that sent me to you. Oh. Really? Even in the condition Dora is in, she's still refusing to share you with her own childhood friend. What would be her gain if she suffers and dies in the end? And who told her that the very dude she is refusing to share with me would not eventually become mine to keep and enjoy? Who? Madame Egodi, you're confusing me. What are you talking about? You. Me? I? I don't get it. How? You really don't? Evoca. <sighs> the public could be deceived by the mom, son, game you and Dora are playing on them over the years, but not with a Godi. No. I know the true story from the beginning. <clears throat> Madame Godi, you are confusing me the more. What, what story and game are you talking about? I am ready to give you the entire bill the doctor is demanding to save Dora's life. But that will be on the condition that you will give me that which you have been feeding Dora with over the years. Here and now. Sorry to ask. Because I'm confused. What have I been feeding my mother with that you are demanding and requesting of me? Sex. Um, do you realize you're talking about my biological mother? Oh, come on. Relax. I just told you that I know. I knew the story from the beginning. Tora is not your biological mother. What? Come on. There's nothing wrong with it. Sex with a sexy angel like me and go away with the money. You need to save the woman who gave her all to give you life. Oh, you think that merely servicing her sexually is enough for all she did for you? Come on. I know that you're not going to sit and watch her die. The subject and Ingrid. I know you're not heartless. Just set me on fire and go away. For the money you care for. Yes, that's the strength. Come on. Let's do it. Who is my biological mother? 
And please, don't you dare keep mute on me. Because this is the moment I want you to talk to me as you have never done all my life. Who is my biological mother? Epuka. You went to Ekoti, right? Oh. It's true. Mother, it's true that you are not my biological mother. So, Madam Ego, they wasn't really lying. Mother, who is my mother? Who is my real mother? Listen. Ego is a devilish manipulator. You know. Mother, I am not here to hear what or who she is. What I'm interested in is who is my real mother. Can you open your mouth and talk to me? Who is my real mother? Or if I walk out that door, you will never see me again. For the last time, mother, who is my biological mother? Abuka, please. Please calm down. Sit down. I will tell you all you need to know. Help me open that drawer. Lies, the answer is sick. Untie it. She is your biological mother. My biological mother? Yes. Where is she? She is dead. She died few minutes after being delivered of you. she from? I don't know her relatives, but I know her name. We did not spend much time together. You didn't spend much time together? I do not understand that. Nine years ago, I was medically confirmed infertile by a doctor six years into my marriage to an only son. My husband's family 
forced him into kicking me out. They were aware I was an only child who lost her parents in a ghastly motor accident and was abandoned by all her relatives. I came back to the village with nothing but a few clothes. Coincidentally, the good was home then. She was caught in bed with another man and sent away by her husband two years earlier. She left the village in disgrace. Soon, she started sending money and gifts, expensive gifts, to her people. Her family told everyone that she got a job in a company owned by Italians in Northern Nigeria. The day I came back from Enugu was actually the day she came to show her parents a car she just bought. She was the first person I ran to for help and she offered to take me to Yola where she was residing then and helped me gather the pieces of my life. I was relieved. Two days later, we left the village for Yola. Close to the city, we came upon a ghastly motor accident scene involving a commuter bus. Everyone, everyone in that bus was dead, except for your mother, who miraculously came out with only a scratch on her arm. But she was feeling dizzy. We felt for her because she was heavily pregnant. The villagers who rescued her from the Magold bus begged us to take her to Ego Diska and help her to a hospital in Yola. Apart from her name, which she told us was Ifunan, every other question we asked her was answered with silence and tears. She had nothing but a small pause, the very pause you just opened. As soon as we entered Yola, she fainted in the car. We tried to revive her and found out that she was bleeding from her private parts. We rushed her to the nearest hospital and she was delivered a few, few minutes after the medics revived her. Unfortunately, she died a few minutes after she was delivered of you. Two days later, against Egodi's suggestion, 
that we forget about you. I returned back to the hospital and told them I told them that your mother was my younger sister. I apologized on how we absconded from the hospital two days earlier and asked them to release you to me. They did. That was the beginning of my trouble in a city where I knew no one but a god. She would not have any of it. I tried to convince her otherwise, but she wouldn't budge. It was through the head cause of the heated agreement we had that followed that she revealed to me that she was a full-time prostitute and that the reason for her bringing me to Yola was to introduce me to it. She then demanded that I threw you away immediately, which I refused. I broke her. Hey, God, through you and I out of her house. I suffered untold hardship in order to make sure I keep you alive and fend for you. Ebuka, believe me, you were the son, the child I never had. I brought you up as my own. I... I want... Mother, what is it? What is it? Mother, what is it? What is it? Mother, mother, mother! Doctor! Doctor! Mother, 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 mother! Mother, don't do this, don't do this! Doctor! Doctor, please come, please come! Mother, mother, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this! Mother, don't do this! Yes? Come in. Hi, Ibuka, how are you? Doctor. I said, how I'm are sorry. you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sit down, sit down. to comport myself and my mother's word. I shouldn't have allowed my emotions take the better of me the way I did. To the extent of pulling, pulling so hard on your rope. I'm so sorry, doctor. Please forgive me. Please. Apology accepted. Thank you. Um, doctor, what happened to my mother? I mean, would she be... What happened before your mother passed out? Um, we were discussing something important and she... she, what, she what was this important thing you were discussing? Um, we were discussing... From, if you don't want to disclose it to me. Yes, Doctor, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Ibuka. Well, I am asking because whatever it is has uh, complicated issues for you. Your mother did not just faint. She suffered 
heart attack. Yeah. From my findings, it was shock induced. Shock induced? Hi, um, doctor. What is the implication? Yeah, the implication is uh, she has to be treated first before any medical surgery okay. can be carried out on her. Okay. Do it any other way, and you'll be sending her to her early grave with a jet speed. As I talk to you, Webuka, your mother is in a coma. What? What? Doctor, but I thought she just fainted. Okay, okay, um, please. How do we start? How do we start? Where, where do we start from, please? How, how, how do we treat her? You see, the type of drug needed for the treatment she requires to stabilize her for the surgery on time is rare and expensive. We don't usually buy and keep such drugs here. When needed, we we'll prescribe for patients to buy them. Where do I buy the drugs, doctor? And how much is it? Mm, 22,000 for a card of nine tablets. Your mom will be required to be taking three tablets daily for the next uh, two weeks. Mm, for the next two weeks. Let me write down the name of the drug and the closest pharmaceutical store you can get them. Mm? Get it quickly because we need to start administering it on her today. Today? Sure, Ibuka, today, that's, you can see the urgency of uh, I mean, it's, it has to be urgent. Hmm? Just be fast about it. All the best. Hmm? It's okay, doctor. I'll try my best. Sure. Well, your mom will be fine, okay? My mother will not die. No, she will not. My mother will not die. She will, I like the faith. She will not die. My mother will not die. She Thank you. Okay. Don't worry. Everything will be fine, okay? Man, being a man. Striking for this time around. The usual reason, mom. Money. Any other thing added is just make decorations as always. It's crazy. Hmm. Mom, school is tiring right now. I mean, you're supposed to spend like four years in school, but you end up spending like six years or even more. Really ah. annoying. I'm sick and tired of school, man. It's really tiring. In fact, your dad and I are tired too. You know, your dad was talking about sending you girls outside the country. Yippee! Shut up! 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 Shut Issue to sort out with his account officer and also say the bank manager. Okay, mm. that is great. Well, he is going to be returning to 
a sumptuous welcome. Mm -hmm. His favorites. Okay. Unkobi. I know. And fresh fish barbecue Aww. from Amarachi and I. Uh. <laughs> You're forgetting something. Something very important. Aside the Unkobi yes. and the pepper soup we are going to make for him. We're going to be adding something different. Come, let me tell you. I want it. Curry and a green sweet as well. You need a big Kitchen, because I missed your meal. I have some shots and salad soup in the mm. kitchen. Mm. Really, mm. Like mm. Oh, mm. the <laughs> Your luggage. Uh -huh. In the trunk. Yes, we need to get it from the car. So, yeah. please do. <laughs> Let's go. While I prepare the things in the kitchen. so long to get what I ask you to. Good day, what have you been... Good day, ma. You? Good day. Um... Ah, oh, pardon my manners. You're welcome. Sit. Thank you, ma. Mm. Wow. My instincts are always dead right. I said to myself three days ago when you run out of this door, come down, Egodi. He will come around. And here you are. So, tell me, Mr. Handsome, have you changed your mind? Madam Egode, mm -hmm. my mother suffered severe heart attack. It happened while she was telling me about my biological mother and how she ended with me after I confronted her with what you told me last time. She's still in coma as we speak. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dora had a heart attack? Mm. Still in coma? To you, but that has not erased my humanity. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything, and that includes what happened here three days ago. In fact, I am sorry for what I did to Dora back then in Yola when she insisted on keeping you. Dora was and still my only true friend in this village. I didn't just know what came over me on both occasions. Three days after I drew her out of my house, I had a change of heart. I did all I could to find her back and bring both of you back home. I'm still sad that I failed. Believe me, 
It was years later that I learned she followed some rural farmers to one remote village in Yola or Mubi thereabout and settled as a farm laborer. With time, according to her, she said she was treading on farm produce. She was making supplies of fresh farm produce to hotels and restaurants in Yola and Mobi. That before you were due for primary school, she had successfully saved enough money to open up her eatery business where she was operating it before the recent uh, terrorist invasion. Please. I'm not here for you to complete the story my mother started. I know by his grace that she will survive it and she will continue where she stopped. I'm here once again to beg you. We need your help. Please, help me save my dying mother. I'm begging you. Um, Biko, Biko. Oh, Biko, calm down. What do you want? I am ready to render you any kind of help you require to save Torah. Yes, I will. I will help you, at least as an atonement for my sins against both of you. Just say it. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank Always you. Always welcomed. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. You don't need to say that. I appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, come on. Thank you. You don't need to kneel. Hmm? Come. Come with me. Get up. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we are. Your room? Yes. My room. So tell me. Madam, please. Um, Ma'am, sorry to ask. What are we doing in your room? What do you have in the bag you came with? Here is the document to the five portions of land my mother purchased in the village. Um, after everything you still call her mom? Um, it's alright, never mind. So, why did you come here with Dora's land assets? For what? Well, Mom, the drugs prescribed for my mother are quite expensive. And the doctor said she must start taking them immediately. In fact, every three days I have to cough out 22,000 naira to buy the drugs for the next two weeks. I have been able to afford six days dosage. If they are exhausted in the next three days, I don't know how I will be able to raise more money to buy more. I see no wisdom keeping these portions of land. I, I need to sell them because I, I want to save a life. I want you to help me, please. I want to save my mother's life. Please. In other words, you are in my house to sell the portions of land to me, right? Yes, ma'am. The portions of land are valued to the over 2.5 million naira. But if you give me 1 million naira, I will sell them to you. I'm serious about it. Emuka, relax. I've told you that I will help you and that is why we are here. You? You. I'm here. You are here. The bed is here. I 
friend. This is condom. Bird, all I need from you is a sound sex. And you will live here richer by two million naira. That will be enough to pay Dora's hospital bill. I don't need your land. All I need is to have a sound sex with you. Deal? Madam Egodi. Mm-hmm. Should I tell you the truth? Mm-hmm. After hearing all I heard from my mother three days ago, after all that happened to her because of you, and also after hearing the part of the story you told me a while ago, I would rather allow my mother die than to accept what you are requesting of me. I will not do it. So, no deal. Did you get it? All right, then. Relax. I will help you. I will help you. Yes, I will do. But, not for free again because of what you just said here. I will buy the portions of land, the exact amount. 2.5 million naira, that's worth, right? Yes, yes, ma'am. You've spoken enough. Why don't you sit? and count it. I will. Why I rush to a key and get the balance from the bank. Oh, thank you so oh, much. Oh, you don't need to do thank this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you, ma. Thank Epica. you so much. Shh. Thank you. Get up. Thank you. Sit down. Okay. Here is my house, right? Mm. So feel free. Okay. Be comfortable. I will. Hmm? Take care. I want you to do the exact amount. Okay. Thank you, ma. Don't do this. Thank okay? You. Okay. So, relax, right? This is my house. Oh, really? While I'm aware, if you'll be needing anything, just go to the fridge and, you know? Thank you, ma. Thank you. God bless you. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, then. Thank you. Sit. Okay, I'll wait. I'll Let's count. I'll count then. I'll be back in a different. Okay, I'll count then. Yeah, yeah.
Hey. <laughs> Even if she didn't come up with any other money, I'm okay with this. I think they should staff. Hey. But I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is not my house. Uh, you, she she went out. She went out. This uh, I Your man remain silent because anything you say now will be used against you in the court of law. Used against me? What did I do? What did I do? I didn't do anything. This is not my house. This is not the, the owner of the house went out. Let me hold me on now. The owner of the house is not around. This is not even my money. Hold on. Madame Ego! I did not do anything. Move. I did not do anything. I said move. Officer. I, 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 I didn't do anything. I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I don't know you. Move. Move. Keep going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep I'm going. But I did. I did. Young man. Can I tell you the truth? Young man. I, can I? Can I? Move. Move. Keep moving. Officer, let's move. go. Officer, let me talk. Allow me to talk. Okay? Allow me to talk. I said move. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, can I can I talk? Move it. Move. Can we go? Say move. move. Phase one successfully concluded. <laughs> when a viper's eyes are locked on a puri, only the Almighty can save the puri from becoming food to him. Ebuka, only the Almighty can save you from becoming my bed warmer. Because I ego thee. I am a says viper whose eyes are squarely locked on you. I like this game. Honestly, I love this game. My gate, I have to lock it. For now, you know, until whenever I want. So I'm telling you the truth. I'm not lying. Uh, the money you saw me with, but the people that was the one that gave it to me. She gave me the money to count before she left for the bank in Okipwe to get the balance. I am not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not a thief. Now, you said you went to the house to sell land to her. And that the money we found with you was part payment she gave to you. You're right. Assuming you were saying the truth, why in her bedroom? Why not in her living room? Um, um, officer, it was Madame Egodi's idea for us to go to her bedroom. She was the one that took me there. Believe me, I'm not lying to you. Believe me, officer. Mm. An animal scholar alerted us about your presence in the compound. And he said, he saw Madame Egodi leave the compound and after he saw you scaling the fence into the compound and by the time we got there and arrested you in our bedroom with a huge amount of cash, Madame Egodi was not in the compound. So, who were you transacting with, Hagost? Um, officer, that anonymous cover that called is a liar from the pit of hell. And you, you are an angel in God's innermost chamber um, sent to Kweboka. Um, are you? My Megodi, thank God you're here. Tell them that I, I, I am not lying. It generates me from this. I, you know what, what I came to your house for. I am not lying. I did not. I, I am not a thief. But you are a thief, Ebuka. You broke into my house and stole my money. 
Is that not what you met him doing when you arrived to my house with your colleague, officer? Yes, ma'am. Where are we going there? What in heaven's name is going on here? Are I stole you? your money? How? Are you shocked? Not so fast, boy. I'm not done yet. You see, the officers that came to arrest you are working for me. So, do not waste your breath trying to prove otherwise because in them you don't have a listening ear. What is going on? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Something I have been requesting from you. Sex. Comply or you will rot here. In fact, if in seven days you're still calling my bluff, I will instruct the officers to kill and dispose your body where no one will ever find it. Sex with me for your freedom and get two million naira to save the woman that gave you life. Those are the alternatives. Get back to me when you decide. Hey. Hey. What is going on? Officer, officer, why me? Why me? Why me, officer? Why me? Why me? Madame Godi. Officers, God, Madam Hegodi, what in heaven's name is all this about? What are you doing, Ebuka? Crying and playing the scent and hoping for what? Miracle? You believe in destiny, miracle and justice? But this is no time for bravado and empty beliefs. This is the time to be realistic. And being realistic in this situation means accepting that if you have time to wait, the poor dying woman who gave her all to save and bring you up has no time. She needs her drugs. She needs a life-saving surgery. It is you. And only you who can make sure she gets both. Whatever you must do, do it and save her life. She deserves no less from you. Staying here defying Madame Godi's actions is the height of foolishness in this situation. She and her police friends have obviously bust you into a corner. It's time to back down for your mother's sake. Cry if you want. Feel humiliated, used, abused and scandalized. But still go ahead and do it. Get the money. Save your mother. That means like surrendering to the devil. Yes. But in this situation, that's common sense. Asking of me. Take me to her now, please. Sharp boy, I shall hold you, Yetrosa. 
So the thing be there about it to do since so he just pretend, they pretend. You go wait till they break. I want to go to her now. Now! I say you go wait till they break. Shoot. That's how they continue hold you. You go wait till they break. Or if you know if you hold her, I get soap and water for here. Make her get that for you. You are a fool. God punish you. You are who they do so be. Idiot. Let get out of here. Did they break? You're dressed already. Where are you rushing to? I want to go and see the dearest person in my life at the moment. Or don't you think I should be running to be with her? After giving you all that you wanted and regained my freedom. Sure. That's a logical thing for you to do. Hey, 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 please, Madame Good. There is no bot in this. Hmm. Give me the money, let me go. I want to leave now. Give me the money, let me get out of this house, please. This room makes me sick. You say what? I've said enough. I've said enough for someone who is in a hurry to save his dying mother. I've said enough, Madame Good. Give me the money, let me go, please. But I promise you, I will not tell anyone about what happened. I swear, I won't tell anyone, right? I won't tell anyone anything that happened. I will even tell them that you forced me to have sex with you without condom. Not even my mother. Do I look like I care who hears what about me, baby boy? Mm -mm. I don't care. Of course you will go, but you have to read this first. It's very important. Come on, take it from me and read. It's just a bet that it doesn't hurt. Come on. My whole life is changing. It's Doctors report that you were raped? Mm-hmm. How? When did it happen? Here. Yes. In this room. And you are the rapist. Madam Egodo, you can't be. I'm not done talking. I'm not done yet. A report has already been written by the police officer indicating that I reported being raped by an armed, masked young man who also made away with my valuables in this house. You see this? This 
is the spantus where you just ejaculated into me when we were making love here in this bed a while ago. So, you can go. As soon as you leave here, I am going straight. I'm going straight to a medical facility where it will be stored, preserved. Madam Egori, for Christ's sake, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why what have I, I done wrong to you? Why am I doing this? Why? Why am I doing this? Oh! To punish you. To punish you. Because of the way you stress me before agreeing to make love to me. I mean, no one stresses a good the way you did and get away unpunished. In addition for your punishment, you are going to forfeit Dora's document you came here with before you were arrested. And that includes you leaving here without shishu and any bullish. What a big goody. Mm -hmm. You can't... Oh, the deed is done. There's nothing you can do about it. And if you try raising any dust against this, all it will take me is for an anonymous person to put a call to the police station indicating you as the rapist. A little test from what you have down here. And there's matches. You know what it is for you. Your case is as good. As good as mine, baby. You know. My God, why Get are out. why are you this vile? I beg you in the name of God. Please, please forgive me. I need to save my mother's life. My mother is dying. I need the money. Oh, so so after all this. I, I won't get anything. I won't get the money. Please, I need the money, please. Please, I beg you. Good. You're a good boy, you know. Mm. Oh, sister! Hey, 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 hey. Madame Goldie, please, please, I beg you, didn't move forward. Please, have this. I need money. My mother is dying. My mother is dying. Please. Please, Mother, shut up. Need I remind you that if you want to walk about a free man in this axis, you will not hesitate to come and service me anytime. I need your services. <laughs> it has to be again and again and again. Now get out. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> you did disappoint in bed, you know. Now get out. Please. Please. Out. Get out! Move. Fuck off. Suck. I won't get anything. Get out. Get out! Move! Come on. Please. Move! invaded our home and taken your son hostage. The Ebuka that you risked everything for has become so helpless that he can do nothing to help you now that you need help. A modern Jezebel, a vile an old swine has black belt me into a helpless baby that can do nothing but to sit right beside you 
crying and be mourning. Mother, Ebuka is now a prisoner in Madame Godi's cage. Please, please open your eyes. Open your eyes, mother. Open your eyes and tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Open your eyes and tell me what to do. Oh, tell me what to do. Open your eyes, please, mother. I was told you left since midday yesterday and you didn't return until now. Why? Doctor, I went to look for money. I went to look for money. You went to look for money to the extent of abandoning your sick mother for about 24 hours? Doctor, I did not abandon my mother. I did not. I, I was so trying... Safe with the details. I am here to inform you that if your mother's drug finish and you fail to replace them, I'll be left with no option than throw you out. Same thing will also happen if in the next two weeks you fail to provide the 250,000 Naira initial deposit for the surgery. Doctor, please. Don't. Uh, don't. Don't. Ebuka, it will interest you to know that this is a hospital where people are treated and not where they are watched to die. It is not also a charitable organization either. Excuse me. Um, doctor, please. Doctor. Doctor. Why? Why me, God? What do I do now? Chileko, I'll be on them, eh? I'll be on them, eh? I'll be on them, eh? Go to. Mother, I want you to know that I will try. I will do everything possible to make you leave. I don't know how I will do it, but I will try my best to make you leave, mother. You will not die. Nothing dies in my hand. I have God, you will not die. I will try my best. You will leave, mother. You will. I promise you that. I promise you. You will leave.
What do you want from me, Madam Ebony? What do you want from me? What is this? What do you want from me? Calm down. <laughs> Relax. Hmm? You know, three days is too long a time for a former Italian base pro like me to stay without sex. So, tonight, in my place, T TV. Let me tell you something. That will never happen. Did you hear what I said? That will never happen. <laughs> Thank you, stars. That aside being a firewood seller, you're also a pity teller. So, get your prison uniform ready. Get it son, before you go swearing them. May God punish you. I like that. May God punish you. 9 p.m. In my place. Don't you dare keep me waiting. May God punish you. Equence. What did I do to this woman? What is my problem? Eh? Is it not my apple? Is it not my eating? Please, three ripe ones and one unripe. <laughs> what a minute, did I hear you correctly? Come on, uh -huh. co collect oh, which please, ones? Please, please, though. Madam. It's not because they don't want to pay you now, not here what? And that is because she left your wallet in the house. You know so I can afford it. Now I am your bank account. Whatever uh, I tell you to take is I what mean, you Put it, three ripe and one unripe. She will pay. She likes oh, yeah. making noise. Put for her because <laughs> I don't have strength to argue today. <laughs> what if? Uh, Apple eater. <laughs> Leave it. Continue. Leave it. Nico, I want um, watermelon and uh, pineapple. Only one. One one. One one. one. Okay. I'll start joining you. Now on five. You want to eat? After taking five apples, you still want my watermelon and pineapple? Of course. And I will join you. That's what, better what auntie put more for her. How much is this one? One five. Okay. okay. That's one two. We eat it together. Three hundred. Okay. So two five. That's everything. Auntie also one five. You want to dash her money? Bank of America. Really? Okay. It's not bad to dash me money. Ah, that auntie, bad. now this Sakpa period, you know, I chose dashing money. No, that. Um, sorry, oh. Sorry, man. What? I can't find my wallet. It's there now. You put it there. I can't find my money. money. Uh, auntie, sorry, please. please. Sorry, ma. Uh, I was with you when you put it inside here. No? I kept the You are not giving me money, Auntie. Uh, auntie, sorry. Please, uh, we are looking for the money. Uh, I saw when you put it here. Hey. Um, please, uh, don't be angry. I think we forgot our wallets in the house. We will just um, quickly go home and get the wallets and come back and pick up the items. Sorry, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry ma. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's just check along. I'm sure we're going to Let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 let us go
Money. 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 Listen, Harry, I understand. I know you miss doing stuff here, but this, I mean, this really got to me. I needed that money. I just withdrew the money so I could get something from the roadside, and all of a sudden, the money was gone. It's okay, just check your account now. Just check your account balance and just transfer some money into your account. Okay, hold on. Just <laughs> hold on a bit, bro. I can see it. Oh, now you want to make me cry. You like money a lot. My sister, I do like money. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Henry. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. I mean, we are the ones meant to be sending you money because you are in a foreign country stalling while we are at home on strike mm -hmm. eating food. I trust your hustling spirit. <laughs> you are my hero. And you are my champ. I love you, bro. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Say hi to mommy and daddy. Oh, well, I do. But I still feel like cursing that idiot who picked up my wallet. Uh-huh. Anyway. Thank you, bro. I love you so much. I thank you for the money. <laughs> thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I am super duper excited. I mean, this feels so good. I got my money back. Mm -hmm. Just like that. <laughs> thank you very much for suggesting that we call Henry. You're welcome. Oh. I mean, you know, do anything to make you happy and not to see you happy too. Oh. But that does not include for fitting my eye with see. My sheer set. No, your eye with see. Your nose with smell. Are your money lost? Did you lose your money? It's... That sounds like a. It's a no. It's a no. I need to be sure. Let's just help me get more. Okay, let me get the clothes inside you. Don't let me go. This okay. it's a little bit torn here, okay. so I want you to run it all the way down. Okay. Mm? Okay. Just Thank do it, eh? Okay. Hey, please don't hold it too close because I don't want the dress to get too tight. It's okay. fine. Oh. I will be careful about it. Yeah, forgot to ask. Um, how much is it? Mm. Don't worry about it. No. Anything you give me is fine. That's all. I did a job, person. Just tell me how much you are going to collect. I don't want us to start having issues when you're done with the dress. Like I said, do not to worry yourself. We're not going to have any issue. Listen, bro. Appearance is not reality. Forget this big house you're seeing. We are not the privileged rich girls you are seeing us as. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Okay? 
The reason we're saying this is that money talk right now unsettles my nerves. So. Oh, really? What happened to you? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry oh. for asking him. No, it's it's okay. It's fine. The thing is, um, I lost my wallet today on my way to the market. Oh, your wallet? Sorry. How much was in it? I had um sixty-four thousand naira in the wallet. Sorry, why are you asking? Did you by any chance see my wallet? Sorry, she's not by any chance accusing you. What she's trying to say is, did you by any chance ever hear someone probably talking about something like that that made you ask exactly how much is in the wallet? You know what, let's just forget about my, my wallet talk. How much are you charging for the amendments? Don't worry yourself. Money is not everything. No matter how big one's need for it is. I mean, just... Wow! A very intelligent, educated, philosophical Obioma. <laughs> that is great! You see, circumstances of life can turn someone into all sorts of things. But one should pray that when life hits you so hard that you don't lose your moral values. Even if you do, that you still pray to have a second chance to correct it. It's okay. Um, it's fine. You can go ahead and fix the dress if that's how you want it. So as I was saying, give me your account number so that I can give you your urgent 2K. Hey. To what? Like I would do what? It's out uh, of my 64,000 naira. 30,000 naira. Ah, but you have to You're a thing! Are you okay? I, I hope we didn't say anything to offend you. Come on, talk to us. What, what is it? Okay, what's, what's the problem? I'm done. You're done? So I'm so sorry for crying needlessly in front of you. I'm sorry. Are, are you sure we didn't sorry. see anything? I, I, I just come have the money. Hello? Excuse me? At least come have your money. What in God's name is wrong with him and who is he really? Interesting character, Joe. Lovers of our time, please. <laughs> I'm going out tonight, Mom. Aww. Where are you going, my angel? Well, nowhere in particular. I just want to go somewhere quiet, natural, and calm. You know, somewhere where I could have my piece to complete my poem I have been writing since last week. Oh, you have started writing poems again. Yes, I have. God, it's been boring here. I mean, since the strike, I've been home doing nothing. I don't want to get fat, so I decided to start writing again, and it's been amazing. Especially today, her sister, who is her best friend, went to Enugu to take care of business for that. Come, you did it. <laughs> you are too wise, this woman. That's why my father married. Yes, sir. Your son is yes. too plenty. <laughs> the truth is that if you and Chini are not my daughters, I would have found it really difficult believing that you are not twins. Are we that close? The kind of love and closeness that exists between the two of you makes me so proud. Mm. 
Well, you can go, but make sure you come back on time. Yes, sir. So can I go? Yes, but I can't wait to be the first to read that poem when you are done. Definitely, Dad. You must be the first person to read my poem. You know you're my best critic. You know that. Um, <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. All right, baby, take care of yourself. Okay, you too. Yeah. And be good. Bye. This is such a vibrant song. Brilliant and lovely as well. Chine, you too. You're we're right. so blessed. We're blessed, we're blessed, Honestly. we're blessed. <laughs> Someone crying in the forest, and it's a man's voice. Who could it be? What could possibly make a man cry so openly in a lonely forest like this? Could it be he was injured? Yes, he must be badly injured and in need of help. Go and check him out. 
But what if he is a... He has stopped. My sweet mother, they say that the dead watch over their loved ones who are still alive. Mother, even though I did not meet you, I want you to know wherever you are, that your son, your blood, I love you so much, mother. I love you so dearly and I believe strongly in my heart that you love me deeply too. The reason you made my adopted mother to choose suffering in a strange land in order to save and bring me up. What then is happening now? What is going on now mother because the suffering is too much. The suffering is so so much. Mother, I need help, please. The woman that helped me, my adopted mother, she needs help. We need help, mother. Please help me and thank God. Help me and thank God to come and help us. Help me and thank God. We need help physically and spiritually. Please, please. Mother, please thank God. Tell God to save me from the claws of Madame Egothi. Tell God to save me from the torture she calls sex. She has been subjecting me to it almost every night. I am tired, mother. Tell God that I am tired. Tell God that I am tired. Come and save me, mother. Save me, I am tired. Save me, I am tired. I am tired. I am tired, but I am tired. I am tired. Again? I think I have to go and find out what is really going on. I don't care about the potential danger. A human like me crying in the forest. People don't cry for fun.
sailor. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. The prophet or the native doctor that told you it was me was right. It was indeed me. But please, forgive me. I'm sorry. If you're here to deal with me, go ahead and deal with me because I deserve no less for descending to such low. Please forgive me, I'm not a thief. I am not. I have never. Please, please, um, stop. What exactly are you talking about? You mean you don't know? <laughs> know what? Oh, um, please, forgive me, please. I, I will tell you this. I, I have a confession. Before meeting you and your sister four days ago, I I saw and picked a wallet with 64,000 naira inside of it. Oh yes. The truth is that even while you and your sister complained about a missing wallet with money in it, I still had the complete money with me. I am sorry about it, but I am not a thief. Understand me. I'm sorry. Please, forgive. Please. What? How dare you? I'm sorry. Please, Butu. Please, Biko. The truth is that telling you about it or returning the money to you that very day would mean sentencing someone so there to me to that. Please forgive me. Please. It was a case of good and evil placed in front of me to make a choice, which I, I selfishly chose evil because I needed to save a life. I'm so sorry. I'm not a thief. I am not. I have never tried it. Please forgive me. But honestly, if I'm placed under such circumstance again, I will still do it again and again and again. I'm sorry. I am not a thief. Please. Forgive me, please. Please. You can do whatever thing you want to do to me. You can, you can do it. I am ready to face it. Please, I'm sorry. I needed to save a life. Please. After my National Youth Service Co Program, I joined her in her restaurant business. I helped her modernize it. But when Mobi was attacked by Boko Haram terrorists, we ran out of the city. Only to to come back and meet our properties, our cars, our houses, the restaurant, including my school certificates, completely destroyed oh and burned. We had no other choice but to come back to the village. Six months ago, we resolved to come back to the village. We were trying to pick up our basics, trying to get something better to do when she came down with this sickness. My God. That is my story. The story of selfless sacrifices made by this woman to give life to the child of a dead stranger. And now that she is in need, I cannot even help her. I had to become a thief for me to pay for her drugs. Um, listen, you don't have to say that. You are not a thief. I would, okay. have, I would have returned your wallet the very day I picked it up, if I'm not a thief. You did what you did because of the circumstances you found yourself. Anyone in your shoes would do the same. I would even do worse. You are not a thief, okay? Oh, I mean you're forgiving me? 
right there in the forest. I hold nothing against you. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I will talk to my parents about your mother's case. I am not promising anything. I understand. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enter the car. Hi, Buka. Madam, I go there. Please, let me be. Not again, please. Let me be now. I say you should enter this car. I beg you in the name of God. As you can see, I am going home. I'm going home to wash my mother's dirty clothes so that I can go back to the hospital and be with her. The plan has changed. Changed by me. Enter the car. Madam Egode, no. You're talking to a human being. Hope you know that, right? A human who has lost his independence of thought and actions. You are more or less a slave, a goody slave. And a slave who wants to stay alive. Don't argue with his master. Enter the car. Is that a threat or what? Me? I am too big to threaten a low life like you. I'd rather mold you into shape if you dare me. Now, enter the car. Stop there! Are you entering this car or do I use this to write the last chapter of your miserable life? Handsome. A good thing has made a degree and so shall it be. Tell me who the lady my soul saw you with at the hospital. That is forced. Just four days ago, you were able to get the recommended drugs for Dora that would last her for two weeks. And when I ask you where you got the money, you didn't say anything today. An affluent, looking strange lady visited the hospital with you to see Dora. Who's she? That's too much a coincidence for a goodie to ignore. So tell me, who is she? I will never disclose identity to a devious witch like you. Even at the point of that, 
You think that forcing me to your house has got quite a lucky me inside your toilet and you force me to tell you what I vow never to tell you? Better think again. You are wasting your time. By the way, she's not part of the bizarre deal you blackmailed me into having with you. Is she? Yes. She is. How? Well, she is beautiful. According to my sauce, and I don't care if she's the one that gave you the money or not. My only concern is about what her sudden presence in the equation could mean for the bedroom deal I have with you. Oh, you are jealous, right? <laughs> And who are you laughing at? I'm laughing to you, Musa. I'm laughing to your miserable life. I know the even with locking me up inside your toilet, you are still a prisoner. A prisoner to your loss. Prisoner to your shame. Prisoner to your insecurity. You are insecure animal in the prison of your own satanic flesh. I know the shame on you. Shame, shame on you, we could hold the And who? Laugh again. Laugh again. And I'll put a lady in your skull right now. Laugh! Go ahead. Go ahead and shoot me, you retired shawl. Go ahead! Stupid idiot. What more can you do to me? I said, me, what more can you do to me? Is that all you could do? <laughs> See what I told you, right? You are a miserable prisoner to your own lust. I got you, you are really miserable. And the worst is that having sex with you is like boxing the air. Because you are really empty. Oh yes, and you have nothing to show for it. Your former customers in Yola and Italy are skewed and taking everything away from you. You have nothing left in you. What do you have to show for it? Loneliness. Crystal lust and frustration. Sorry for you, Egodi. I'm so, so sorry for you. No! Shoot me! Yes! I retired and frustrated old Kago Ashao. Go ahead and shoot me. If only you knew how much you've compounded your situation. By all that you've said to me, if only you knew. The God, you're a loser. Nothing will happen to me. Go ahead and do whatever thing you want to do. What more will you do to me? What more will you do to me, Egodi? What more will you do to me other than detaining me in your house and having sex with me every night? What more will you do to me, Egodi? Other than spreading you are old, wrinkled laughs and forcing me like a dead animal to spread your leg and keep having sex with you harder and harder and harder again. What more will you do to be a goody? <sighs> See, tonight, you've lost it all. Oh, yes, because even the weakest of erections will not come from me. 
no matter how you force me. I am not ready for anything with you. Cry to bed, dry wood. You've lost the battle you started. <laughs> it's like we're forgetting something. We're forgetting someone. Dora. I admit everything you call me tonight. No problem. There's something I want you to also admit. Snogger's Dora is still alive in that hospital. You can never call my bluff for real. Never. Because without you, Without you, sugar boy, Dora can never make it to life out of that hospital. No. Who will stop me from going to her? Me. A goatee. The only way you are leaving this house this room is for you to be able to make up with me till they break without stopping. And if getting erection becomes an issue, Ekodi has a lot of sex terror here in my cupboard. Need I remind you that whenever you're here to make out with me, hefty young guys are out there waiting for my instruction to kill you. Just for me to say so. And that includes getting any form of violent treatment from you, dude. Now get those rocks off your waist. Let's get started. From what brought you here? From my pretty lips to your toy. Do you need help? to go. It's after 9 a.m. in the morning already. They'll be looking for me at the hospital. I need to go. Please allow me to go. I've already done what you demanded of me last night, didn't I? You've done one remaining the other to be done. So, do the needful. 
else you're not leaving this house. Which other needful are you talking about? Huh? The girl that visited Dora at the hospital. Where is she from? Where did you meet her? Who is she to you? My whole life is changing. It's upside down. I have lost everything. It's upside down. I was happy. Like I said to you before, even on gunpoint, I would never tell a desperate devil like you who that girl is. Oh yes, if my mother dies as a result, sad, but I'm sure she will f forgive me when everything that happened will be revealed to her in the spirit world. I know she will forgive me. Really? <laughs> so you consider hiding her identity from me as what risking everything for than saving Dora's life. It's alright. The door is open. You can go. Read my lips. Do not say I didn't warn you. If anything happens to her, if she comes to violent end, don't blame me. But I... Shut up. Don't dress up and leave my house. Get out! Get, 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 get out! The time is up. with you we've been trying to reach you all day your phone has been switched off oh, no need explaining my sister has explained everything that you're going through with your mother my parents and I we actually went to the hospital to see your mom my oh. sister and them our parents oh really yes you went with your family to see my mother yes thank you um, why don't you come and say hi to them I mean, when I told my dad that my mom, they were actually really surprised yeah. and they decided that we all go to the hospital. Well, that's my dad and my mother. Good day, sir. Good day. Daddy, this is Ebuka. 
the son to the woman we went to see at the hospital now. Ibuka, this is um, this are my parents. Good day, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Good day, ma. God bless you there. Thank you, ma. My daughters have been trying to reach you since morning after our morning devotion. What happened to your phone? Oh, sir. My phone was switched up. Okay, I had flat battery, sir. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry about it. It's okay. Amarachi told us everything yesterday. And we have seen for ourselves after visiting the hospital. And we've also heard from the doctor. We have decided to sign off the medical bill. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Thank yes. you, sir. We'll, we'll pay for the drugs. Thank you, sir. The surgery and the after-surgery medical care. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Amarati. Thank you. It's thank okay. you. It's thank fine. you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay, Marie. Thank you. Get up. Get up. Oh, thank you. The human family is one that tries when they have reach out to help they have not. So it's all right. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Oh, yes. We didn't do anything exceptional. We had the means, and so we decided to help. In fact, God expects all humans to do the same to one another. Okay, sir. Thank you. My God will bless you okay. all. My God will favor you all. My I, Amarachi, God hey, will bless you. Can you just stop thanking me? I told you, it's nothing. My God will bless you. It's fine. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate this. I really appreciate this. My God will favor you all. This is. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. In case you need anything to purchase, you can use this. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm talking about writing off your mother's medical bill. Yes, the check. Hey! Hey! We're on our way to the bank to withdraw and pay. The doctor has demanded. But now that you are here, you can go and cash it and pay him yourself. Hi. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Amarachi. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. It's thank okay. you. Thank you. Oh, thank no, no, no. Ebuka, Ebuka, please. Thank you. Please, 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 please. please. Just stand up. You shouldn't be doing this. I told you it's not this. It's fine, okay? It's okay. Ebuka, Ebuka, no, 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 no. This is not right. No. Please, please. I... I beg you, just uh, you. stand up. Thank it's you. okay. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Mukha, you don't have to do that. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Dad. Thank, Thank you. My whole life is changing. Hello, doctor. Good morning. Yes, I'm in my house. I'm washing my mother's dirty clothes that she used previously. I'll be there soon. Any, any problem? What? Doctor, tell me you're pulling my legs, right? Tell me you're pulling my legs. That my mother is out of coma? Are you for real, doctor? Are you for real? Oh my god, oh my god. Yes, yes, I'll be there soon, I'll be there soon. Uh, just a few minutes, few minutes, I'll be there. Thank you. Hey! Oh my God. Hey! 
Thank you, Jesus. Obinigwe. Obinigwe. I come to the end of Chineke. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Chineke, na. I am grateful. Obinigwe, I'm grateful. Thank you. Hey, can't get me say me now. Oh, 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 Thank you so much for coming back to life. I love you so much, Mom. I love you. I love you. Abuka. Mom? You still called me Mom after everything. After yeah. hearing everything. Yes, Mom. Whatever that which revealed to me has done no damage to who you are and mean to me. Oh, yes. You are my mother. My one and only mother. Nothing will change that in my heart. Not even a million ago these. Thank you. Thank you, Ibuka. Thank you for not abandoning me after hearing everything. The doctor told me everything you have been doing. Thank you and God bless you for me. Amen, Mom. God bless you too for all you did for me. You saved my life as a baby. You raised me up as your own flesh and blood. There is no Ebuka without you. You denied yourself comfort and this life for my sake. God bless you so much. God bless you, my son. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't survive this, hearing you say this, I would die a fulfilled woman. You're not going to die, mother. You will not die. God has said an emphatic no to it. You're not going to die. God has sent some angels in the form of a kind family from Acha community. Yes. Uh, Buka, that reminds me. The Dr. Steve told me that a family from Acha came earlier today to visit and that they promised to pay my bills. Who are they? What are they? The doctor wants to see you immediately. Okay. In his office. Okay, nice. Mom, let me see him. I'll tell you everything about them when I come back. Right? Yes, sir. The good Lord has answered us. I'll be back soon. Let me see the doctor. Let's go. Oh. Ebuka. Mom, do not worry. I'm still the Ebuka that you saved and raised up. You named me Chuku Ebuka. God is great. Mother, God is indeed great. I'll be back soon. Please God, preserve Chukwebuka, my son, for me. Bless him and protect him for me. Thank you, God. Chukwebuka. Yeah. Who is that? Come in. Doctor. Uh, Sebuka. Yes, I, I actually did. Okay. But I was just informed that uh, there is a new patient needing my attention. However, since you're, you're here, I will spare you one minute to tell you why I called you. Okay. Before the intensive care equipment we hired got here, your mom came out of coma. Yeah. We still need them though. Hence, we'll have to keep them handy. Okay. Uh, actually, I sent for you so I could uh, confirm if you've gotten everything needed for the surgery tomorrow, as you promised me earlier. You mean the, the fonts required? Sure, sure, the fonts. I, I need to be sure before asking the surgeons to come down here tomorrow. You said the chief who was here earlier with his wife gave you a check covering the money. Have you cashed it? Not yet, Doctor. I was about to go in Tokyo to cash the check when I got a call that my mother has come out of coma requesting to see me. So I had to come here first. But I'll soon go there and cash it. Yeah, that's okay. 
But you see, the money has to be paid in full, else we will not commence preparations for the surgery. Mm -hmm. Doctor, I must pay the money. I, yeah, I have the check already. I'll just have to go to Okiwe. Okiwe is close by. Don't worry, I will get the money. Once the accountant confirms the full payment, uh, preparations for the surgery will uh, commence immediately. Thank you, Doctor. I, I will rush. I'll get it. It's okay. We'll get it. Hello, nurse. Anything new to report? That Evoca told you people that he will not be going to the bank to cash the check? Why? Oh, that it will pass the banking hour before he gets the bank in Okiwe. One minute. Yeah, he's right. And when did he say he would be going to do that? First thing tomorrow? He's all right, Ness. Thanks for the head up. No, I've not gotten any information about who the girl is or any member of her family, where they're staying, and how they met Elbuka. But there's someone on it for me. As soon as the person gets to know anything about them or if he makes any physical contact with them, the person going after that will pick it up from there and let me know. It's all right. Thank you very much. Yeah, hello, Sergeant Toby. Yes, you need to stand down. He's not going to the bank again. First thing tomorrow morning. It's all right. Okay. Of course. Bye. Till then. <laughs> Well, only the Almighty knows that any time their family is tracked, I'll just send Sergeant Obi and his crew to wipe them off the surface of Earth. They signed their death warrants the day they got themselves involved in Dora's case. I don't know how they made Evoca or the reason, but they are done for doom. Buka is in my first trap. And I am not going to let him go easy. It's either he ties of sex, steroid, overdose, or I get tired of him and push him off. And that should be when he's down and never to perform again, you know. It's not my fault. This is a goodest life. <laughs> Oh my word, when you got the money, you got the whole world.
Officer, what is it again? You're under arrest for raping Madame Egode. I'm making away with her money and valuables. Officer, please. Please, don't do this. Please. I beg you in the name of God. I am on my knees. Please don't do this. Please. Please. As you can see, the water and the food. I'm taking it to the hospital for my dying mother. She needs it before she could take her drugs. Please don't do this. I am not available. I am not ready for this game. Please. Shut up your mouth. Who is playing girl with you? What more do I call it? When an adult like you, who knows the truth about what you said you came to arrest me for, still comes to do it. Don't you have conscience? Don't you have conscience? Utter another word. I'll shoot you in the head. Maya, move! This way! I said move! Before I shoot in your head. This way! Keep going! Officer. Officer, I don't want this. I said move! I, I, I don't like this, officer. Stop now, please. Stop. Full stop, officer. Stop. Have you picked the water can and the food flask where he left them during the arrest? Okay. Now you have to take them to Dora at the hospital with the cover story I briefed you earlier before now. You know what to do. Alright then. Bye. Please, 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 don't, don't, don't shoot me, please. <laughs> uh, please, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, please. Yeah? I should go down. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Please, please, forgive me, please. I'm sorry, please, please. Have mercy, please, please. Hello, handsome. <laughs> Madame Egodi. Officer Obi. What is going on here? Welcome to our bottom match tonight. This is about your bestial madness. Why did you waste your strength in this police officer's arrest taunt when you have everything you need to blackmail me into compliance as you always do? Well, I wanted a change of style and don't waste your time asking me why. Oh, don't really? Mm -hmm. Very well then, go ahead and do your worst, because I am not ready for this madness tonight. Do your worst, shoot me. I said shoot me. Shoot me. Right. Shoot me. Hey. Number one, I need to go here <laughs> with my phone, I'm off. Mm -hmm. Here is better. Look at you. You've already worsened your sorry situation by this silly art you just put up here. And one more art of defiance from you. I will use what I have against you to make sure I destroy you for real. You see this mock arrest this night? Will turn out to be a real arrest for rape. And armed robbery. Madame 
ago there. I am not a criminal. And I did not rape you. I did not. I did not. I have clear evidence that you did. Do you have any evidence that you didn't? Do you? What am I good? I have none. And I also do not have slavish police officers like you have. But I have God. I have God. I serve a living God. And for that alone, this cruel game that you started will end with your disgrace. This cruel game that you started with an innocent soul like me. I did nothing to you. You will end in disgrace. My God will disgrace you. I am very sure of it. My God will disgrace you. Your end is near. Mother be good. Are you done talking nonsense? If you are, then let's get started for the reason why you were brought here. Oh? Are you damning the consequences and opting out our deal? Is a question. I opted into this madness because of my sick mother. But for her sake, I'm still in. Smart boy. Smart dude. Officer? Come. This. Your fee for tonight's operation. You can leave. Tell my men to stand by. My friend, what are you waiting for? Go bed, let's get this started in a kirigare. Something I know you enjoy doing. Come on, set me on fire.
why? They go the why? 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 God, today can win on air, man. Today can win on air, man. I win on air, man. God, you are there, you are there, you are there. Happened. You are crying. What is the problem? Um, did the doctor say that the surgery is now useless for me? Was that the reason you gave my food and water to the nurse last night to bring to me? and told her to tell me that you went to the church to hold a prayer for me. Chukwebuka, answer me. Am I going to die? Did the doctor say I am going to die? Chukwebuka, what? Chukwebuka! Chukwebuka! Am I going to die? Chief, after hearing from my mother at the hospital, my first instinct was to confront the nurse and beat her to truth about who boggled my house and destroyed the check that you gave to me from her. But on a second thought, I realized that she is a member of Egodi's gang and as such, any isolated action against her will compound my woes rather than help. Chief, please, I want you to know that I am not here for another check because my mother still has about two weeks to be okay without the surgery. I am here, Chief, because I need your help. I really need your help, Chief. With the extent but I may go the has gone about this. My mother and I are in danger. We are not safe, Chief. I want you to help me and stop her, please. I don't care if I don't care if she sends me to jail with the evidence she has against me. But I want this madness to stop. Please. My innocent mother. She deserves to leave. She deserves no less, Chief. Help me and stop her. Help me and stop her, please. Chine, Amarachi, Lolo, I want you people to help me. Please, please help me and talk to Madame Egodi to stop stopping our lives. Please. Chief, please help me. I want her to stop. I want her to stop, please. It's okay, Ebuka. Please rise. Now sit here, sit, sit. You see, Ebuka, you did the right thing by not confronting the nurse or the ego the lady and by choosing to come here to seek for help. I don't need any begging from you to do something like this. No, I don't need it. Chief, all I want, I want her to stop. Please, help me and call her. Help me and call her. Help me and tell her to stop. She should stop. I don't want my mother to die. I don't want that innocent woman to die. She deserves to live. Hello. Yes, Barrister Goji. There's something I'll need your urgent legal advice on. Yes, immediately. I'm at home. Gentlemen, 
There's a new development as we projected last night when we planned to force Eboka and brought him here to sleep in my house. So that you guys can boggle the house, search for the check and destroy it. Guess what? This morning, he went to the chief's house for another check. Great. <laughs> yes. He didn't just meet him in any other place. He met him right there in his hometown. His family house in Acha community. Unknown to him, someone I paid followed him up to there and took notice of the house address, which I will forward to you. Now listen very carefully. The man's name is Chief Ekekwe. He lives in the compound with his wife and two daughters. You will go there tonight. Pose as armed robbers as we've planned it and make sure that no soul in that family survives after your visit. Your fee for this operation is one million naira each. Yes. I will transfer 500,000 naira to your accounts as soon as we are done talking. The remaining half a million will be transferred to your account when you have successfully completed the heat. Am I understood? Consider the whole family dead, madam. Mm. <laughs> yes, you're right. They signed their death warrant when they get crashed into my space by involving themselves with Eboka. My sex toy. Or do I call him my sex slave? <laughs> oh, dear. Very good. How dare you? How dare you send these hungry slaves, these thieves in police uniform, to break into my home and destroy the check Chief Ekepe gave to me for my sick mother? How dare you? Hmm. A book, huh? Why are you arriving here so late? I had expected you here earlier before now or at the police station. Why did it take you so long to phantom out that we were behind it? Are you that daft? Are you? Maybe he was too shocked to think straight and piece it together after seeing the Don Sheik back at home. And when he did realize it was part of his fake arrest on last night, he became too confused to make up his mind to react till now. <laughs> oh, sugar boy. And now that you have pieced it together, how may we help you? I mean, why are you here? How dare you? How dare you? Shut up! Any wrong move will strangle you here now. Tell him, officer. Tell the fool. Need I remind you that the sperm I extracted from my vagina the very first day, these gentlemen, officers, and I blackmailed you into sleeping with me in this house. He still were preserved in a clinic. I'll talk you away. In addition to escape serving a long term of prison, you better not dare with me. You better don't dare me. Because I can easily, with the evidence, arrest you for rape and armed robbery. And you know what that means? 
It is as easy as ABC, boy. Don't. Don't you dare me. And if I dare you, what will happen? Well, I will tell those officers here to kill you and dispose your fucking body in my cell's pit. Now get out. Don't get me started. On the count of ten, I want you out of this house or I will order them to kill you. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Officer. Police. You area is surrounded by my men. If you do any funny move here. I'll finish you. <laughs> You're shocked, right? You're shocked. I told you. Madam Egoldi, you are in a bigger mess as we speak. Because whatever nonsense you were discussing with this dirty man has been a record to the force has woven. Stop it. I placed a call to the DPU of Force Headquarters. He is aware and I have been here recording whatever nonsense you were discussing with them. So we have all the evidence to nail you down. I told you, right? Who is the winner now? <laughs> Now you tell me, which of the police division did you come here from? Another question from you, I will answer you with a bullet in your head. Did you hear that? I told you. <laughs> I told you I will have the last laugh, right? It's time to nail you. It's time to bring you down. The DPO is aware of everything that you guys are, we are discussing. Let's get out of here. Officer, pull them out. Yeah, break out. out. Come on, move, move, boy, son. Move, move. Out. See this one. Out, out. And the driver went past her, be there to her bed, not be me. Officer. Deal with her well. You've seen your life, right? Huh? I told you. Mm. <laughs> Out! <laughs> oh, Ebuka. If only you knew the whole story. You won't be laughing like a drunken fool. Madame Egodi. There is no other side to the story other than the fact that you are in chains of justice and are exonerated and free like a bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say so school, dude. Ebuka. Well, need I remind you that the food can and the water you left behind where you were arrested yesterday was picked by this nurse and was taken to Dora the hospital. It was laced with high potent poison that should have started working on her body right about now. So if only you can close your lousy mouth and rush to the hospital, I believe you can watch your so-called Dora dying. Tell me this is not true, right? Well, of course it is. No! 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 <laughs> I won! Take me! <laughs> I won!
Please, please, doctor. Please, please, please. Just, just, just. No, no, please. no, no, doctor. I don't want my mother to die. Doctor, excuse me, excuse me. I don't want her to die. Mother, uh, what is going on? What is going on? Just, just, just. What is going on? Doctor, 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 please. Hold on, hold on. Mother, I don't want. Mother, mother, no. Mother, no. Mother, no. No. Don't do this. Don't do this, mother. Don't do this. Doctor, what is going on? What? What is going on? What is going on? Mother, please don't die. Mother, mother, please, 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 vomit it, vomit it. Please don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Can you, mother, don't do this to me. What is going on? Doctor, talk to me. Doctor, can you talk to me? Can you, 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 can you talk to me? Doctor, can you talk to me? Can you, can you please talk to me? Talk to me. Yes, yes, yes. What is going on? You're a man, right? Yes, yes. You should be able to contain whatever happens. Yes. She's dead. Why, mother? Why? Why didn't you stop them? Why didn't you stop them? Why didn't you stop them, mother? Why? She vowed to do everything possible to help me locate your people. Why didn't you stop them? Why did you allow them Take her away from me. She treated me so well. She was my happiness. Why, mother? You're my biological mother. Why didn't you stop them from killing her? Why? Why? I don't get it. Ebuka. Do you mean Auntie Dora? Is not your biological mother. Yes. She's not my biological mother. She's my adopted mother. When I found out late, my adopted mother was already in the hospital, sick and down. <laughs> yeah, the picture is the only evidence I have. My adopted mother said that she could, she could not even trace her. She does not even know her whereabouts or where she came from. Barrister Goji, please come. You need to see this. Yes. Yes, if and I. Do you know her? Goodness. My adopted mother said her name is Ifonaya. Even Madame Dodi confirmed it. Do you know her, please? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's my son. Yes. Himka. Hey. Oh my god. My goodness. My goodness, you are my son. Yes, what? he's my son. Yes. Hey, Ebuka. You, he's my son. Yes. <laughs> he's my son. Yes. No, no. He's my son. Yes. You're my son. Hey, hey. Ifna, oh, Ifna, you lived to deliver our baby. Yes. <laughs> he's my son. He's my son! He's my son! You're my father! He's yes. my son! You're my father! He's my son! Be 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 my son!
gedero Himalege na so eti ja yo gedero Himalege ji gbele gbele ase mi lori mi o Himalege ji gbele gbele ade mi lori mi Himalege ji gbele gbele ade mi lori mi o Himalege na so eti ja yo gedero Himalege na so eti ja yo gedero Himale iji gbele gbele ademi lori mi o Himale ngi na so eti jayo gedero Himale iji gbele gbele ademi lori mi o Himale ngi na so eti jayo gedero Himale iji gbele gbele ademi lori mi o Himalenge na so eti jagi o gedero Himale iji gbele gbele ademi lori mi o Himalenge na so eti jagi o gedero of darkness and power like you instructed I have eaten and drunk nothing but my feces and urine for 14 days and 14 nights I have also slaughtered seven vultures and seven tortoises and baited you with their combined blood like you requested you who is the custodian of Igubolimori the ultimate power to harm and to control. I stand before you right now, fully prepared to receive that charm, that great charm. Give me Ubori Mori, and I will serve you and your interests forever, all the days of my life. Give me Ubori Mori. Give me Ubori Mori. Give me Ubori Mori. I for me Ubori Mori. You me? I for me, I for me, I for me, I for Baba mi ari bamba e le ba le gori odo e gbadon ni jani korofo e le mo lomo ni petiye e le mi le le fe jewe oni le kokun kokun lorun kini wa ri ja ejo kini ya ri ja ejo o mo le le teji teji hey ba so mi so mo ju ba yin o ido ba le mi re mo du pa lawo yin o hey mo du pa o se o mo do pa ja o e se o I show, I show, I am stronger. What about the one? If I let you not show, that is a yoga zero. If I let you not show, oh, so she's pretty great. My trip to Abuja was awesome. I know. I have filed all the documents for the for implementation, <laughs> and of course, uh, like I said. My trip to Abuja was awesome. <laughs> I experienced a lot. <laughs> but that's by the way. Uh -huh. Yes, um, what do you intend to do with that property at um, Muhammad uh, uh, Street? Yeah, I intend to build uh, an administrative block for my companies. My oh, companies. I thought as much. I saw it coming there. <laughs> Barista. <laughs> I know, you know, when we were back in the school, I used to call you barrister. <laughs> but see how life turns around. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not a barrister. And I knew you were going for the top. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> we will celebrate soon. Yes. I know you are going to do something wonderful there. Oh, 
Bon appétit. Oh, Merci. Ce n'est pas un problème, monsieur Bocco. Ah oui. Ah, c'est usual. Ah, c'est usual. Family is more than exceptional. With a pretty wife like the one you have, and uh, absolutely gorgeous and pretty daughters, and the kind of food I had a while ago to complement it day after day. Abrumi, along the girl, God has blessed you. He has done great for you. Eh? See that food? The one I had a while ago. Ah! All my life, I've never had such, such food. What we eat in the Jabode is Inyo, uh, Epa, Amola. And it's Amola Dudu, not even Fufu, not, not the white one, the black Amola. Eh. Uh, Who? Who? Um, uh, Ishu, Ati Wedu, Obefa, Yelangelong. We have, I, have, I have never eaten this kind of food before all my life. Eh? Oh, Oguchi, eh? my brother, eh? you will never change. Ha, Senjike. Always with the right words to praise and admire. I cannot change, Senjike. You know, Mili Senji, I cannot change at all. The words are coming naturally in this case. With the kind of food, that your family give to me to eat and the kind of treatment after the reception, the warm reception I got from them. Ah, 
it is enough to make any person a, 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 a professional praise singer as well as an orator. I will go here. The truth yeah. is this. I run my family in a particular way. I can see. My wife and my daughters see you as no different from me. Ah, no, I can God will bless them. But I'm glad that you like the food. Ah, like it. Like it, okay. More love for it. Oh, you come in. All right, let us toast. Love. Long life. And you are more progress for the family. Ah, you. I'm here, sir. Very strong. If we don't have this type uh, uh, in the body. Don't worry, I have enough. You will enjoy it. No, no. Hey, approve me. What's it? Yes, I understand your argument. When you say you want to move over to our parents' end, uh, yes, to yes, stay yes. there. Between now and next week, when you return to Ijebode. Uh, Benny, Benny. Um, but what I don't get is why you are in a hurry to do that. You have a beautiful and well furnished place here. Why don't you relax while we get that place cleaned up? I know you are the first son, and uh, it is your house. You are entitled to stay there. Uh, eh? But just be patient. Let's clean it up so that uh, you can. Move. Uh, bro, me. Uh, uh, or I hear me. I understand you. Uh, but it is only somebody that can see the innermost part of my heart that can understand how much I have missed our uh, parents' house. And uh, how guilty I feel staying away from this village for so long a time. Please, allow me to uh, start making up for my feelings by moving uh, into our parents' house now. Please. I, I don't even mind if I have to sleep on a heap of dust this night. Uh, I don't mind at all. Uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, Ushi, thank you for renovating the house for me. Uh, God will bless you. Along the Batyeje, God will not spoil your own. He will do you right too. Uh, You're welcome, uh, Ushi. But like I was saying, uh, my son, Henry, uh, we'll be returning from America tomorrow. No, no. Where he, uh, he went to acquire a higher degree. Oh, 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 the graduation. Yes. Hey, yeah. Oh, the graduation. Yes. Hey, yeah. You know that. That one is good. And my wife yeah. and daughters will be going to Enugu to pick him up from the airport. Oh, you hear me? You hear me? I understand. I would like to discuss something very serious with you when I come back. Uh. You see, I would like to set up a viable business for you. Business? Yes. I don't mind where you do it, in Jebode or anywhere of your choice. I want to stay in Jebode. But I just want a situation where you can remarry and have children of your own. Oh, shame. You just make up your mind what you want, where you want it done, and it is done. Hey, <laughs> approve me. Hey, get go approve me. Whoa, what's your name? Uh, let me just give you an answer straight now. I don't want to keep it waiting. Uh, uh, about the location, I want to go back to Yabudi. That is where people have known me and I have known people. So I want to go back to Yabudi. Uh, it's okay. Yes. But I have gotten friends there. Uh, about the business, uh, I want to uh, start selling uh, a phone. Eh, yeah, uh, 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 pan wine. Eh, ati eh agbo agbo lotin. Olo paraga. Ati bush meat. Eno gbe. Hmm, ma come back gbe. O nta gan o, o ah, it sells very well. My plan was to set up a multi-million naira supermarket. Ah, oti o, mi fe o. Hmm, hmm. Ma te lo be. Mi fe ra 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 ra. Yes, of Let me tell you something. Say it with me, Where I live at the body, I want more local jail. They are there 
all this uh, uh, all this uh, oh, halotti and the other people. Prostitute. Hey, 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 and uh, Tomati lost his shoes. When they finished doing their um, nonsense up and down, they will just come to the shop. What did you turn here? So he says, so a lot of people doing it are making a hell of money. It's a good business, so. The litigation, the spirit of your late parents brought against you before the grandmasters of the realm has been decided. Your parents were quite angry and demanded your instant death. It took a passionate plea from me to the grandmasters to make them honor your parents to drop that demand and come up with another. What they come up with? was that both of us be stripped of the power to harm your brother and all the members of his family in any way. Again, I pleaded against it because what you went through to possess me, being the most trusted element, the grandmasters ruled in the middle. By so doing, they give two options to choose from. You are to choose between harming your brother and his wife only or harming only their children. You cannot harm both sides. The grandmasters of the realm said emphatic no to that. Uh, no, that is not acceptable to me at all. Eh? How? How can the grandmasters of the realm give such verdict? Eh? You know, I did all I did to possess you just for one reason, and that is to eliminate Ekegwe and his wife so that their wealth can be mine. How can that be possible if I, if, if I cannot eliminate them? Make your choice now. Kilewi, I should make my choice. Ha. Ah. Okay. But he you that too. He lay you ten long. So, Allah, um, uh, I, I choose Ekekwa and his wife. Uh, I choose them. So that by the time they are out of the way, I can now devise a means of uh, eliminating his children and still achieve my aim. You can only manipulate them after that. Any attempt to harm them, physically or spiritually, will backfire on you with serious consequences. Not even me or any power in this universe can save you from the impending calamity. you. Hey, you me. I miss you, Harry. I miss you so, so much. See, let me tell you something. When I see you at the airport tomorrow, I am going to give you an exceptional hug that the papers are going to have our pictures on their pages the next day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, both of us. Mm. See, Amarachi and I will so do with that. You, mom or dad will have to call the airport police to help you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> see, there won't be any need for that, you girls. See, upon seeing you guys tomorrow, I'm going to carry you both on my shoulder, like I'll hook you here, I'll hook you up from the arrival lounge to the car park. See, you won't believe how much I've been going to gym for you girls. See, let me tell you. <laughs> I seen this. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Okay. Enough said, sir. Mm. The fact is that we all miss you indeed. Yeah. Let's give you the chance to tidy up your parking and proceed to the airport so that you don't miss your flight. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You need it, son. Mm. You know mommy loves you, right? Wow, mommy, I love you. Daddy, I love you. I love you. Babes, I love you girls. I can't wait to see you. She loves you mm. so much. I love you. See you soon. I love you more. Nobody loves you like I do. Oh. <laughs> Bye-bye. 
Um, hello, Amarachi. Hope the drugs you took is effective. How many times have you visited the toilet since your dad and I left the house? Once. Are you sure? Mm. That's a good sign. It's been two hours we left the house. It's okay, my angel. You're going to be okay, all right? Daddy and mommy love you very much. You know that. Yes, I know. I know you do. Okay, please, can you pass the phone to your sister? Hello, mommy's angel. How strong is Amarachi looking? Okay, thank God. Thank God. <sighs> Has your uncle come to have his afternoon meal? Oh, he hasn't. That means he's still doing his house clean up at his end. Oh, when you wait for half an hour and he doesn't come, please pass a call to him. Find out what he wants to eat. Prepare it and take it to your grandpa's end. Okay? He mustn't be left hungry. Please. I trust you, my baby. I know you'll do it for me. Yes, we are already in Enugu. We're just entering Enugu. We're still at the outskirts of Enugu. Yes. Okay, baby. Love you, my darling. Please do take care, okay? Bye. Now tell me, is Amarachi okay? Yes, she's getting better. Huh? I feel for her. I feel for all of them. After all the plans they have made for their reunion, sudden stomach upset ruined everything for her and for them. If only you people knew that I struck Amarachi with running stomach in order to prevent the girls from joining you in the car to Enugu. If only you people knew that I did it so that I can do this. Okay, boy, I love you now. Goodbye. Hello, Kudano. Hello, Parani. Ibugo Rimori. Enya Jayle. Aja Ode. Aja Ijebu Ile. Ati Aja Ijebu Ode. Ati Ijebu Ibo. Muki Bobo Nyi Lo Kone Lo Bini. Eko Ajo Mi. Mutu Kwele Wanyi. Henry, as soon as Henry gets to the arrival launch at the airport in Enugu, strike him with serious urge to urinate. And as soon as he enters the restroom, grab and hold him hostage in the trunk of a tree in the jungle. Hold him there for the rest of his life. Put a call through to his sisters. Tell them that you are a hired assassin paid by a lady he wronged when he was still in Nigeria. 
Let them hear gunshots and tell them that you just killed Henry and that they should not bother looking for his corpse because they will not find it. Yes, I am Barrister Obaji. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, uh, yes, officer. Uh, I am his friend and his uh, lawyer. Uh, yes, I'm actually in his house. Uh, as a matter of fact, we've been trying to reach him and his wife for about two hours now without success. My dad. But uh, yes, if, if, if you're with him, let me speak with him. Yes. What? what? Officer. Hello? Oh, this, this is Please, can I talk to him? He, he's my father. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm the daughter. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I want to talk to daddy. Wait, wait, wait. let me talk to him. What? My goodness. What did you say? Great love. So, see me. Talk to me. What is it? Oh, oh it's okay. What she wants? What she wants? No! Marchi! Kilosaw, what is it? Baba wari bamba, wale ba le gori odo ba doni jani korofo, ona malo mani petiye, walo mini le ofeje we, oni le kogun kogun loro, kini aku guri ja eju ama dele teji teji, maso minso, e maso minso, e ya lagbara. Hey, any yam you shrunk, Baba, me a ribamba. Okay, Thank you for the progress made so far. After the death of Ekekwe and his wife, I did a lot of things in my village that puts the fear of me in everybody's life. With the power of Ugo Limori, I invoked bees to sting and scatter Omoada. When they were having confrontation with Shinenye, 
few days after the burial of my brother and his wife. With that, the fear of me became the beginning of wisdom in Archer land. I will keep being grateful. It is true that the girls got their own bits of this thing from the bees. Uh, but I later reconciled with them and made them believe and trust me one more time. Now, time to go full blown with the implementation of why I embarked on this war against my own. Baba, me a ribamba, modu palo wo ni o mo kini ni ya mi o shurunga. Eh, modu bagbo ya mo njemi. Eh, jago juti mi. Eh, jago juti mi. Eh, jago ta yomi modu palo wo ni. Eh, jago ta shibere ni. Ah, talo joni o send o send the body to that bini. From this moment, you become my partner in crime. You become my partner in every atrocity I commit in my family. You have no right to say no or object to it or whatever I do to Amarachi. You must always say yes. You must always talk in affirmative. No matter how much she cries, no matter how much she displays anguish and agony, it will never touch you. I put stone heart in you. Let your heart be hardened, more than rock, against the uh, uh, Amarachi. Yes, I lock you up in the prison of my mind forever. Baba mi ari baba, ole ba ole gori odo o pa doni jani korofo, ona malo moni peti ye, ola mi ni le o feje we. Oni le kogun kogun loru o kini yo akukuri ja ejo o ma de le teji teji ma so mi so ma so mi so iwe gori mo ri o hey iwe gori mo ri alagbara baba mi ari baba we mi mo so pe le ba le gori odo e tun pade e tun pade ja ni gorofo e tun na mo lomo ni petiye eh eh ma se wo eh eh se wo e do ba le mi re mo wa nle mo du polowo yin o mo du pe mo do gbeda e se What is it? Why, why were you screaming? Are you okay? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You were screaming like you were going to bring that. Leave me, Marachi. I don't know what happened to me. All of a sudden, it felt like my head was set on fire. And then suddenly, it stopped. It's okay, right? It's all. I'm scared. And I'm scared too. Not to worry, everything will be fine. Okay. God, please. Do not let anything happen to my sister. She's the only one I have left. Have. 
and I love her deeply. Please. I love you too. My dear. Um, Boni. Um, sorry, Uncle, I should have um, greeted you. I'm, I'm just surprised. You, you know, you left the village two days ago and you told Chinaya and I that um, you would. Kilo Day. Killing the jam because of me. What's all this uh, jam because you're asking me? Let us talk when we get inside. For now, I need the help of the two of you to carry my luggage into my room. Cherry, uh, wait. Sorry, I I need to understand what is going on. Did, did I hear you say your room? Amarachi, you heard him right. He said he wants us to talk when we get inside. Oh, yeah, Get your other bag. Oh, oh, oh yeah, me let know. Sure, I'm back for you. I'm going to share. Eh? What do you mean, question? Oh, you're going to run away. You're going to fail the bed and you're going to lose bedroom key. What's happening? What What do you want to use the keys for? To open it and move in. <laughs> so the year. <laughs> oh, so the year. Did, did I hear you correctly? Move into dad and mom's bedroom. Okay. I'll, I'll take this as a joke. Eh? This is a joke, right? Joki. Joki, look good. Joki, go. I joke any. My dear, nobody's joking here at all. Eh? You haven't told her? Oh, this is a funny. Um, told me what? If you are lost, find yourself. With the death of Henry, mom and dad, everything our parents' heart has become Uncle Ogochi's own. No, I kill. Why did he? And, and, and that is because he is dad's elder brother and the only surviving male child of this family. Which means he has automatically inherited everything. And that includes mom and dad's bedroom. Even you and I. Oh, oh, Nikulewe. You will not die young. Chinege, I thought it was. Monoto, no they go. Eh? You see, if you have any 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 further question or any explanation you demand, it will be supplied to you in due course. For now, I have something very important to do inside this room and it cannot be delayed any further. So let me hear. Mind is up the mouth. Two, two, it's 
been barely two weeks my parents were buried and you are already laying claims to your properties including their matrimonial bedroom this is not right Chine, you need to listen to me mourning our parents doesn't just end with wearing days and crying every day without respect to the memories of those people we are mourning mourning is nothing but hey. My beauty in the sun. Will you marry me? Jesus! man has given to you. I don't know what is wrong. But whatever you are trying to do now is totally wrong. The man standing here is your uncle for goodness sake. Oh. You can't have anything to do with him. I am not her uncle. I may be your uncle but not her. Um, <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Amma, oh, this is only. You have not told her. Tell me what. What is going on? <laughs> Tell her. Amarachi. I am not your biological sister. Well, Tony, that's true. Well, your late parents adopted me. And right now, I am about to become <laughs> your <laughs> uncle's wife <laughs> and your stepmother. Really Meaning me? that I'm going to be the madame of this mansion. So why don't you start by saying a hearty congratulations to your stepmother. Shut up. Oh, you shut, shut up and up. listen. Shut listen up. to me. I know what I'm saying. This is a joke, right? Listen. This is certainly a joke, Chine. I beg you. Listen to me and listen good. This man is your uncle and you are my sister. What's wrong with me? Eh? Something wrong with me. He wanted to control the He wanted to control the air. My beauty is on. Give me a Susu. Susu, let me hear. Jesus Christ! You go to the salon. What's wrong? I'm not going to see you. Uh, what is wrong? What happened? Talk to me, talk to me. What happened? Oh, oh, oh. Who made hey, you is so? Is it true? Oh, oh, please, I, I just want to know the truth. Is it true? Is what true? Is it true that Chinaya, yeah, my younger sister, is not my biological sister? Who told you that? Chinaya yeah, did, uncle. <laughs> Uncle Oguchi and Achina said the same thing a while ago. I just want to know the truth. What is going on? Oguchi? <laughs> he left for his workplace at the cocoa plantation in uh, Ijabode two days ago, saying that the owners asked him to resume work immediately, else he will be sacked. He is back. <laughs> he is back and instead of moving to my grandparents' house, he moved into my father's house, claiming the house as his. He is claiming everything my father left behind. Uncle Biku, what is going on? I want to understand what is happening. <laughs> oh, Oguchi. Huh? Oguchi. That is too early now. That is not what we are talking about now. Yes. I just want to know what they are saying. Is it true? <laughs> Uncle Biku, tell me they lied to me. Tell me they are joking. Biko, please. <laughs> Come on! 
Extended family. I respect that. I also demand that you respect the fact that you are standing in my compound. And as such, I demand you accord me some level of respect. This is not your compound. This is my father's compound. Amarachi, mind your language. You are talking to my husband. Now, who is this frustrated cow? You. You ungrateful slave. Keep your mouth shut. Shut up! What did you just call me now? You heard me correctly. An ungrateful slave. Hey! Hey! Oh! If not that, I am not wearing anything inside. Oh. I'm Arachi. Well, that is because I just finished riding <laughs> my dear husband. <laughs> You too. Yeah, you too. If not for it, I would have so beaten you that you would be begging for your life. Uh, mm. I would have given it to you in a way that, oh, Marachi, you will regret ever knowing me. Anyway, for a certain point, I you, I understand. Go. Okay. Uh, do you bring me here to watch you quarrel and fight? Oh, Alasia, whatever it is you came here for, it's over. It's just over now. Leave this compound with her right now, and she must apologize to my wife for the ish shots she just directed at her. If not, she should consider herself a homeless girl. Oguchi, are you out of your mind? By inheriting her parents' assets, you have automatically inherited her and her responsibilities. That's what I The same tradition allows me to disinherit her by publicly touching the ground with my scrotal sack. And I will do just that because my Akbamu is ready to do the needful right now. You will not do such wickedness. <laughs> You will not dare such wickedness. While I am still alive as the head of this extended family. Wait, you. you will not die. Aloji. Chile. Chile. Duro. 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 Aloji. Are you threatening me? In the email. Are you threatening me? Mwa. Is the boy dead or me? Eh? Is what you are threatening? Let me tell you something. Aloji. I came back from the boy very prepared for anything. I came back with evil, I also came back with good. I want to be my friend and enjoy the good that I came back with. Take side with this loud standing beside you against me and you will have a clash of the evil that I return with. Make your choice. You are not threatening. I don't see it. Alozie, if you ever make up your mind to stare the devil in the face, make sure you don't blink first. You have not forgotten what I did to Umwanda right here in this compound two weeks ago, have you? I am going in right now. By the time I come back and still meet the two of you standing here, she will live with hunchback. And you, you will live with 20 liters size of elephant charges of the scrotum. Ibi. Eh? Iba, yes. 
And if you think you are man enough, stand here till I come back. Uh, I wish. Please, please. Just don't worry. I, I am not here for that again. Please, I will not. Uh, no. Never you call me again to have any interference between you and Oguchi. I cannot be part of it any longer. No, come back. Yeah, don't I know ever call me. I know the man. What are you doing? He's eating salad. Yeah. Frustrated being. Follow him. So yeah. Follow him. Oh, Nikoshi Lonnie. Follow him. Look at her. Look at her. I love you. I sang you. I love you. No sense. Honey. I love you. Look at her. If I sang you. Nonsense. And you, Alodie? Huh. Don't try this place again, oh. Imagine you're in Bimo. You know, we did uh, not finish it. Uh, yes. I was just in round three. Uh, right now. Oh. Let's enter gear four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave me, oh. Leave me, oh. What you sow is what you reap. Why are you staying here in a cold hammer time night like this? What happened to you? Where, where is Chine? Oh, okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, this is the key to the house. Please unlock it, right? You can't be staying out here. It is quite cold, right? Go inside while I put on the generator. Take, take, take. You will tell me everything inside, won't you? That's okay. Quickly, move. Oh, let me on generator. I followed him all the way to his house, begging and crying to him. <laughs> Uncle Alosi did not even as much utter a word to me. When we got to his house, he went inside and locked his door. As if following his examples, the leaders and elders of Acha community refused to help me. They were all afraid of Uncle Oguchi. Nobody would even listen to me. It did not just stop there. They all stood and watched my uncle beat and throw me out of my own father's house when I went home later in the day. All of them refused to allow me into their houses. My uncle threatened to unleash his Jebucham on anybody who helps me. With what was happening, I didn't have any other option. I, I went to the police station and I caught the shocker of my life. Chinea did not only bail him in less than half an hour. They also heavily bribed the police to the point that the police openly threatened to torture me to death if I come anywhere close to their station again. Even the police? Even the police. <laughs> Barista, even the police. I tried reaching you when these things were happening, but <laughs> your phone was switched off. Yeah. Um, it, it was actually faulty. I, I took it to the technicians at Okiwe to fix. But it took them so long to... In fact, that was the reason I, I, I came back late from my trip to Umahe. I'm so sorry about that. Uncle, oh, please. You need to help me. I need your help. I am going through a lot, Uncle Nico. Please. What do you want me to do for you? Please. I want Uncle Oguchi and Chine out of my father's house. I don't want them to inherit even a pain from my father's assets. Biko, please. 
So, so how do you want to go about it? With um, with more man Henry's death, I don't think there is anything my father's will would do for me right now. And with watching it, it, it will be an abomination of the highest kind <laughs> if she gets anything from my father's properties. I want you to sue them, Uncle. I want the court to stop your madness once and for all and give me sole ownership to my father's properties. Please, Uncle. <laughs> I want the court to handle this. I am going through a lot. Please. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't kneel before me. Please, please, please. 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 You don't kneel before me. Shit. Well, I have suffered too much. I've gone through it, Lord. Miguel, please. compound was the most outrageous. It was quite unconscionable. For Christ's sake, she is your own niece. She just lost her parents and her only brother in very tragic circumstances just recently. She is still in shock. She is yet to heal completely. How could you compound her grief in such a manner? You are her father now. No, 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 no. There you go wrong. There you go totally wrong, Barrister Ugoche. I am not her father. Her father was my late younger brother, Ekekwe. Get that into your thick skull. You are late chief Ekekwe's only biological and so, brother. Eh? And so? But Ugoche, I ask you, and so? Let me tell you something if you don't know it. I reserve the right to choose what I inherit and what I do not inherit from my late brother. Eh? And let me tell you something. That girl is not coming into this compound anymore. And if she dares me, I will strip her naked before throwing her out of this gate. You will, you will, you will, you will dare not humiliate her any further than you have done already, Okuchi. Oh, yes, really. And who is going to stop me? I Let me ask to do that. I will go to any legal length to stop you. Luto. Luto. Oh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you have been lost in after her. You've always focused your attention on her waist and on her boss. Only God knows how many rounds of sex that idiot Right, you would you discharge a bill lawyer. Only one knows how many rounds of just sex she, she bribed you with last night that is making you commit this fire that I'm seeing here right now. What I want, I just hey, 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 hey. Yeah, uh, listen, I've not finished. But so God, I will gladly come to court to defend myself if you sue me. And I ask you, will you do the same? If I sue you in the court of all the witches and wizards of Ijebu land, I'm asking you. You hey. must. But it's to God, in case you don't know, let me remind you. Let me tell you. My late Ijebu wife was the most powerful witch in the entire land of Ijebu. I married her when I was 36 years old and she was 71 years old. Guess why I did that? Powers. Spiritual powers. Guess who she gave all her powers before she died? In me, don't we? In me. Myself. Before you go any further, fooling yourself in the name of uh, defending Amarachi, be sure you are not only legally ready, but Spiritually, I will not be intimidated by such Christ talk. Oh,
Voice of God. If you ever make up your mind to stare the devil in the face, make sure you don't blink first. This devil standing before you right here and now will kill. He will destroy. He will devour. He will massacre an entire generation just to have his way through in this issue. And do not be foolish enough to let him start with your family. Hey! If in the next two hours, if in the next two hours, Amarachi is still in your house, I am going to launch a devastating spiritual attack against your family that will start with your only son, Ebuka, that is in Canada. Hey, hey. I'm not done with you yet. I'm done with you. Now get out of my house. Please, I, I don't. I said get out of my house. That didn't leave me. Go see law. Get out before I launch it now. Sir, I'm still on my knees. Uh, yes, I, 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 I am begging with you. Get out! Don't harm my son, please. Uh, uh, oh, Lord, Lord, go there. Uh, yes, I, I, I uh? want to beg. Be, 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 put my family in. My son, especially. Put oh, come on. Come on, 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 come To be honest with you, Amarachi, I left that place feeling more like a ghost than human. What has Oguchi become? Why is he doing this? What if he was just playing mind games with you and others? <laughs> he might just be bluffing for all we know. Of what he, after what he did to the Umada before you? And you're asking this question? Oh, well, my dear. If he's bluffing, then he chose to bluff with the most precious thing to me. Ebuka, my son. That's a very expensive bluff to me. Ebuka is, is my only child and, and you know it. I am your late friend's only child too. If you were in your shoes, uncle, would my father, who you knew very well, give up a fight on Ebuka in a similar circumstance just because he was threatened by an old buffoon? Don't, don't, don't go, dear Amaraji. Please don't. I can't believe what I'm hearing. So what do you want? You want me to leave your house just as he demanded, right? Do you believe in destiny? I do, but... Take has... your case to the cut of destiny. Humans like me can be threatened and cowed. Human police officers and judges can be bribed and manipulated. Humans and people can disappoint you. But destiny will never, never disappoint you. Put your faith in your destiny. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me, uncle? You're asking the only surviving biological child of your late friend to consume bread of sorrow in the hands of Okologuchi and Chine. You're saying whatever they do to me from now henceforth doesn't concern you. You were only concerned about your son, Ebuka, and yourself. Is that what you're doing, Uncle? Have you suddenly forgotten that my family's compassionate deed led you to meet Nebuka in the first place? Have you forgotten? Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Amrachi. <sighs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Uncle. Thank you. Get up. Money or the day, get up. She gets up. That question is fortunate to answer, not me. Um, sorry to ask Uncle, but where is she? She went to the university where both of you are attending. She wanted to take care of one or two things. I will allow you into the house now. But when she comes back, she has the final say as to whether you continue to stay here or leave. So tell her about I will not entertain further argument on this. So if I will lay above, if you know what to come in, use the gate. If I will lay above, if I will lay. So I'm born above, I'm born above. I want Amarachi to defer her university admission with one year, just as I have done mine. I cannot be here with you as your wife at home while she returns to school. Never. That's one. Two, she would have to give up her phone and laptop to me. And you are not returning that car you took from her. Three, I want her to give me the password to all her social media platforms. I am going to log into them, change her passwords, log out of them all because she needs to stay off social media too. Four, and most important, I want her to close all her accounts. Yes, but before doing that, I would want her to transfer all the money in her account into mine. Mm. Uh, I, I like that. I like it very much, but. Uh, I, I am not seeing the possibility of her doing all this without putting up any form of resistance at all. The last thing I ever wanted is a repeat of the drama of the last day and a half. Oh, uh, please. Even if she chooses to resist, which soul in this such a community will come to her help ever again? All of them are scared of you and your Ijebu child. Well, that might be true, but. Some busybody human rights lawyers outside the community might hear of this case and decide to pick it up for her free of charge someday. And by so doing, they will ruin things for us. Uh, yes, I came back from Ijebude with powerful charms. Sure. But uh, I am not the only person who knows the way to Ijebude. Neither is Ijebude the only place in the world where powerful charms can be acquired. Some of those lawyers can even be more spiritually strong than myself. Don't forget that. Well, in that case, why don't you strike her dead with... Uh, no, 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 no. That, that won't be necessary. That will not be necessary at all. At all. Uh, spiritually controlling her to be utterly submissive to, uh, uh, to us is a better option. By the way, who do you think people would, would, would suspect should anything happen to her? What you mean? Both of us. Alternative is... Good. This. The alternative is this. I am going to place this charm on her head while she sleeps. 
And the moment this charm melts spiritually into her head, she becomes our puppet automatically. The charm has an antidote that bothers me anyway, and that is love. Love? Yes. Amarachi must never fall in love genuinely. And if she does, it must never be with a man who will love her back. And even if the man loves her, they must never get married. Because if it happens that way, it will be of serious, in fact, of deadly consequence to whoever charmed her. You? Oh. This is not a good one for us. At all. I mean, how are we going to be able to stop that from happening with a woman as beautiful as Amarachi? <laughs> that should not bother you. Because it will never ever happen. Eh? Any young man who tries as much as get close to her will be dead before he realizes what hit him. I will strike the idiot with the most deadly evil power known to man. doing in my room at this time of the night? Will you shut up? What sort of stupid question is that? Last I checked, this entire building belongs to my husband. And that gives us the right to enter into any room of our choice. Now tell me, do you have any problem with that? I am asking you, do you have a problem with that? Do you? No. Very good. We are here to talk. Or better put, to give you the conditions upon which you will continue to stay in this house. On your Listen, henceforth, you will make sure you tidy everywhere in this house.
Ebuka. Oh, nice car. Congratulations. Welcome. Um, honey. Hi, darling. This is Ebuka. Barista Ugoji's Canada based. Oh, yes. I think I. I saw him at the funeral of. Um, Ekekwe and uh, Lovina. Exactly. I remember his face. He's the one. But I, I, I never knew him to be this confused and morose looking young man standing before me. Mbo, I learned you were a graduate of uh, economics here in Nigeria before you traveled to uh, uh, Canada mm -hmm. to read medicine. Did you change course from reading medicine to study moping and mark opening in Canada? Did you? Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Huh? Chineye? Chineye, is this not Uncle Oguchi? Your father's elder brother? Chineye? Hey, hey. What? what? Don't, don't, don't you try it! Don't you scream my name like that again. Ebuka, don't! If you want to call my wife's name, call her name with respect. Mrs. Oguchi. What? Yes. What is going on here? Am I dreaming or what? <laughs> Where is Amarachi? Amarachi! 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 Oh, some. Her name. Even I am Amarachi! Amarachi! Oh, Amarachi! Amarachi! Come. No, no, no. Amarachi! 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 Hold on, Amarachi! No, no, no! Hold on. Come on, come on, come on! Look, look at it now. You have wounded her. Sorry, okay. I'm so sorry. You were supposed to be inside, aren't you? Yes, sorry, yeah. I'm Amarachi. I don't need to remind you that you have three drums of, I mean, three empty drums to fill with water. And the last time I checked, it was just one that you filled, remaining two. If you like, stand there and waste your life. Waste your time with this this good for nothing person standing before you here. Hey, stop it there, sir. I said stop it. Right? Let me tell you. Wherever this is, I want it to end now. Did you hear what I said? Um sweetheart. I will ignore the dog that just barked now. Mm. And you, Udene. Go and complete your assignment. Or oh, a madman, you know. What did you just call her? Udi Uli E Ubele. The book in the other language. Angulu for outer and in English. Vulture. How dare you? How dare you? Amarachi. 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 Really? Madashi Yakumoy. Really now? Oh, so because he came here with this, this rubbish, he thinks he can talk to you. Just imagine that. Honey, you know what? I want you to use your Iwobo remote to set this nonsense ablaze. You have a good idea. Eh? Meanwhile, <laughs> let, the, let the music play on. No, no, honey. Eh? I know you can do it. It's just for you two. And this car will vamoose now. Can you talk to me? Amarachi, Amarachi, what is going on? What happened to you? Eh? Who reduced you to this? 
Amarachi. What is going on? Talk to me. Talk to me, please. Talk to me. What is going on? What happened? Eh? Leave me alone. Amarachi. Why? No, please tell me what happened. What what happened to you? Can you can you can you explain that? Just leave me. Talk to me, please. Amarachi, please. Can you stop crying? Stop crying and talk to me. Please. I just want to go and fetch my water. Leave me alone. Tell me what what happened? What happened? Amarachi! 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 How could you, Father? How could you keep me in the dark about this whole thing? For six months, I called you severally on phone, asking after Amarachi and Chinoy. I told you I was worried for them, that I could not get them on phone or any of their social media handles. But you kept on assuring me that they were okay, that they are fine, that I shouldn't get worried, I should relax. That them being out of social media or any of their Phone contact was a deliberate action for them to heal better from their numerous losses and for them to keep people from not disturbing them. Is that what you told me, Father? Why did you lie to me, Father? Why did you lie to Love me? Of that, Ibuka. Or Gucci threatening to kill you and I if we get involved in whatever thing he does in that family. And for that, you're checking out? He's a desperate and dangerous man. You are all I have. Father. From all I heard from Chine, Amarachi is also all that her late father had. Her late father, you were his personal lawyer. She is my friend. And we found each other because of her and her family. Why did you betray the trust and the friendship you had with her late father? Why, father? Why are you doing this? I don't want to lose you, son. I don't want to die. Oh, I see. You don't want to die. You don't want us to die, too. You're more concerned about us. What about her life? What about Amarachi, father? You will not get involved in her case. Okay. Too late. Too late, father. Not after what I saw today. That lady is mentally, emotionally, and physically abused by that buffoon and Chine. And God forbid I, I will sit aside and watch like you and other villagers. I will not allow that to continue. I will not. You will not dare me. I will dare you, Father. I will dare you. I will even dare the devil on this issue. Excuse me. What are you doing here? I'm here to help you uh, fetch water and fill the drums as they wanted. Uh, no, no. You, you're not supposed to be here. You can't be doing this. Marachi, I was a hopeless and an abandoned nobody whose life was transformed when he made contact with you and your kind family. But yes, for friendship's sake, for being grateful for all you've done for me, I'm here to be with you in this time of crisis. I'm ready to help you any way you want me to. Please don't say no, right? 
Let me, let me, let's, let's. And, and wait. I'm grateful you're trying to do that. But they will not react well to this. Don't worry. You are all that matters to me. Your happiness is all that I want. I'm ready to help you any way you want me to. I'm ready to be with you. Okay? Don't say no, let's do this. Right? Help me fix this. Sorry I came back late. There were too much people at this stream. I, I, I didn't intend to stay late. Come on, Archie. Come, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go! <laughs> you said I was lying. Baby, see them with your own eyes. And? What do you think you're doing with her? Hey, Buka. Helping her fetch water faster, sir. As her what, if I may ask you? Hmm? As her what? As a grateful friend of hers and her family. <laughs> hey, Buka. If you care so much about her, stop this rubbish this minute. Mm -hmm. Sorry to disappoint you, sir. I will not. Hey, Buka, stop it. Don't talk to my uncle like that. What is wrong with you? Uncle, oh, please, I, I'm sorry for. Hey, hey, stop, Marchi. I said stop. Just stop it. Do you know you're going to put me in trouble? What is wrong with you? Stop it. I said stop it. You go home and let me be in peace. Peace? You call what they have reduced you to peace? What manner of peace is that? It is none of your business. Let's go. And I will slap you again and again if you open up your mouth in front of me and speak like their slave. I'm at you. I'm at you. I'm at you. I'm at you. Now listen. I don't know what you guys did to her. But I want you to know one thing. As far as I live, I must do everything within my power to undo it. Oh yes, I swear, I must undo it. Watch and see. Say something. I Can you say something? I will not do something. Do what? Watch and see. Just watch me and see. I'm going to go do demands of you that night. I agreed to everything they demanded. You agreed to defy your university admission in your final year? You agreed to close your bank accounts and give Chineye all the money in it? 
you agree to hand over your laptop, your your car, and um, your phones to them. Amarachi, after all they did to you and your late parent, you agree to, to, to hand over your password to Chineye that gave her the access and control to lock you out of your social media platforms. What went wrong, Amarachi? Were you under a spell? I was abandoned. Everybody abandoned me, including your father. They were all scared of my uncle. Everybody left me at their mercy. Even the spirits of my parents and brother. What would you have had me do? Commit suicide? No. You're not going to kill yourself for them. Don't even think it. Right? Don't even think about it. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm sorry for my father's failure to stand by you when you needed him most. I'm so sorry for everything. I'm sorry for all that happened. I'm also sorry for not reaching you for almost six months. Right? I'm sorry. I'm frustrated. I am traumatized. Life is so mean. And Uncle Oguchi and Chine are making it unbearable for me. I don't even know what to do. You know, sometimes I I try to muster courage to fight back. Even when they physically assault me, <laughs> I say to myself that I would definitely fight back. But at the end, I go back on my knees begging them. I don't know what's going on. It's okay. It's okay. I totally understand. <laughs> right? I, I know your uncle. I know that that evil man can go any length to have his way. And I'm sure that Buffon and Chineye must have done something beyond the extraordinary to you. I'm so sorry about it. But just know that I'm here for you. Whatever that has happened, let it trash it out. I'll stand with you. Okay? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'll stand with you till you prevail against them. Okay? Don't worry yourself. I'm so sorry for everything. Right? Sorry. 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 Stop crying. Let's go. Let's go to the stream of fresh water. Thank you. You're welcome. Get him off my niece's life! But it's Ugoji. I say it again. Get your lousy son off my family affairs. I will not want him again. Uh, it's not as if I don't know what to do to him. You. I'm going to him and me. And if you think I am issuing an empty threat, watch out for this. No matter how little a date it is, it is never lifted with one hand. Look at it. This is called Ugobo Rimori. It is a very deadly and very powerful charm from the land of Ijebu. From Ijebu Igbo to Ijebu Ode, Ijebu Ode to Ijebu Ona. If I tell you what I went through to acquire and possess this, you will block your ears with stones. And I did not go through such horror for fun. Neither did I come back to this Archer village to give chance to straight drugs like your, like your son, to, 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 to ride me and leave. Warn your son. Warn your son before you bury him. And don't, 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 shut up. Don't talk to me. Talk to your son. Talk to him. Talk to him before I unleash the wrath of Igubo uh, Dimori on him. 
warn him seriously because I will not come here to warn you again. Aguchi, please. Don't Agu talk to me. Don't talk to me. Talk to your son. You go to Mori is not a, a, a friendly charm. It kills first and ask questions later. Rebecca, where are you? Come back to this house right now. I said, come back to this house right now. I said, don't dare question me or defy me on this one. Rebecca, I said, come back to this house. I'll make you fatherless. I mean every word of it. I mean it. This boy is trying to turn me into a prima ballerina material. But I will not give him time to hurt me. I will not. Uh, Oguchi is a uh, dangerous and a uh, desperate man. He, he will waste you if you don't stop. Yes. Father, a man must die for something. And yes, if a man must die before his time, it is better to die for something honorable that he believes in. I, Ebuka Ugoji, I believe in justice and fairness. I believe in true friendship. I believe in confronting evil to defeat evil. And what I'm doing in Amarachi's case is called defending justice. It is called having compassion. It is called honoring friendship. It is called confronting evil to stop it. Fear. Fear has no room in such things. Ebuka, you are my only child. The frustrations and the humiliations that I suffered before I met you. Hey, hey, Father, please. Stop it. Please. You need to try other things. Because whatever thing you're saying now has no effect on me. I'll tell you, what are you really bad in this village? To commit suicide and return me to the drama of childlessness again? Ibuka, I am important. You are my only child. Yes, you are my only child. With this, you've lost it. You just poured gasoline into a raging fire. Come back here. Have you been sleeping with that girl? Look into my face and answer me. Have you been sleeping with that girl? Father, I've never been disappointed in anyone as I am with you at the moment. Okay. Okay, come back here. Okay. Okay, come back. Come back here. I am talking to you. By the time I left his compound, he was already dead in his fear. In fact, I saw him going to every length possible to stop people from further disturbing our peace. All this round and round stuff you keep threatening him and his father is not exciting me anymore. Uh -uh. Use your child to kill or spiritually drive him away from Amarachi. Uh. Is it until he moves from having pity on her to falling in love with her before you understand the threat he poses? Kill him now. You, you, you have a point. How dare you? That's him. Mr. Gucci! Please, please, please. Mr. Gucci! Mr. Gucci! I'm not Mr. Gucci! I am Ebuka! 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 Hey, shut up! Okay, Melody. How dare you step into my father's compound to pull that stunt that you pulled today? 
How dare you harass my father like that, you coward? Eh? I am not complaining. What did you just call me? A dirty, drooling coward. That is who you are. Marissa. No, no, no. Take him out of my compound now before I, I, I send him to Eli, his early grave with my people. Hey. I will do just that. 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 Wicked boy. You should be grateful he did not tear your lips. Hmm. But my teeth are shaking. Hmm. Hey, hmm. sorry. Uh, are you this one? Isn't it easy? Or check out the cost of the money? Oh, Ebuka. Ebuka. Your days are not bad. Oh, this Sherry, like here, it will, it will never be well with you. You will die before your time, I'll go away, Buka. Oh, this Sherry, we need that for you. We need to go more. Look at him, just imagine. Eh? Baby. Eh? Look, this is not a time to swear and do nothing. You have to do something. You have to do something. Yeah. Because we cannot be oddly disgraced like this. The people of our community must not see that this boy came here, humiliated you, and they still see him leave. No. It will be a very big insult. We will have no respect though. Even Egede, the village drunk, yeah. will have more respect than you. Kill him now. Even Egede? Yes. Hi. Hey, Buka. 
Uruko usukini. Uruko usukini. Furumoku. Uruko usukiji. Agama iba mweni. Uruko usuketa. Obinyo usifini honili aye. Toma mpafe bayele. Ayele ya fulorere. Toma mpafe badaba. Adaba fulorere. Ayo tuwa wotye diye. Irikisi ni ojeke diye fu. Iwa wafe sorare. Ebuka. Oh wafe sorare. Ah. Ebuka, you are dead. You are as good as dead. Wherever you are now, you fat in wala umo. Eh. Ugoli mori. Ugoli mori. Ugoli mori. Emit the black evil smoke and go after Ebuka wherever he is and kill him. Let him drop dead. Now. Now. No, 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 Listen, if you have been looking for a reason to kill him before, eh. this is it. Kill him now. Eh? Ah, I know. Uh -uh. Come on, see me, Lizzie. I cannot kill him. I cannot kill him. I cannot. I don't understand. Why can't you kill him? Uh. Obi, eh? there's something. There is, there is something I did not tell you before now. It will be Ugo Rimori is useless against anyone who is in love with the victim of the other charm we used against uh, 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 Amarachi. And no other power can harm him as long as we or people working for us are involved in it. Yeah. Okay, then hire assassins to track him down and kill him physically. Hey, what have you got with here? It seems you're not getting my point. Physically or spiritually, we cannot do anything against them. If we try it, yeah, we are doomed. Hey. Yes. yes, his father. His father. Yes. If you cost him a huge loss, I'm sure you will back off Amrachi. Do it! Now one trick cannot work. Ha! Huh. You know, bossy. Yo, she, she, it's not possible. Oh, eh? Let me tell you something. Anyone related to him by blood cannot be harmed by us now. Even the object of his love, uh, Amrachi, is already enjoying the protection equally. Baby, you, you can't let this happen. You can't. I'm, 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 I'm sure that. There must be some other way to. I cannot do anything. Okay. okay. The only thing we can do is manipulate Amarachi to make sure she doesn't fall in love with him too. Why would we put our brains to work to scare him off with some kind of bluff? No, no, no. No, no, no. This is not good. Just bluff. Eh, uh, bluff. And if he fails. Ah. Penuwalawa. That is where we have problem. Hey, only me. What Amarachi did today, 
Is it not clear enough that she does not really want what you think you came to this country to give to her? Want is different from need, Father. Fear may be driving her into believing she does not want all that I've been doing for her. But the truth is that she definitely needs it. There we go. Pack your luggage and return to your studies in Canada immediately. No, Father. No. Not now. With what he did to that useless and wicked man in his compound a while ago, he will definitely come after you with all he has. The only way you stand a chance, maybe, is to go back to Canada. Then I can go to him with our kinsmen to beg him to spare your life. Mm. Father. If with all that happened in that compound today, you've not realized that that buffoon has been bluffing with you guys all in the name of possessing a charm from Ichibu. Then it's quite unfortunate. You think that is bluffing? You think a beautiful and a promising young lady like uh, Chinonye willingly agreed to become his wife? You think she betrayed the family that gave her life the way she did? It's because she fell in love with a, a man who is old enough to be her grandfather? Assuming I agree with you, Father. Do you realize that Amarachi could also be a victim of the same charm he used on Chinoye? What do you think the same charm would do to you if he continued to poke nose into the affairs? I don't know. But I cannot give up because of the fear of the known. It is not called the fear of the known. It is called common sense. When did you become suicidal, for God's sake? Father. I am not. Nothing will happen to me. Nothing will happen to me. I need your services tomorrow. There is something I would want you to do for me. Which is? Sue him. Yes. Sue Mr. Oguchi and I will... Cut me off that fool! If you have made up your mind to die before your time, I have not! Arabs nurses. She does not use her ears to hear anything about charm. Really? She fall. I am also worried about uh, Ibu Gulimuri's re uh, reaction at being used for such bluffs. That, that charm is, is, is too... It's way too... I mean... I, I, I don't get it. Wait. I thought you told me that Ibu Gulimuri does not harm anyone who possesses it. Was that a lie? You know, know, it's not a lie. Uh, then let's do it. You, you don't expect us to fold our arms and do nothing, uh, you know, until the other plan matures. That is very risky. The stakes are really too high. We have to do something. Chinaya. Um. Uncle, you called? Yes. Baby, please. Amarachi. Yes. 
you mention that thing here? Brother Jesus called it Jesus. Now, Amalachi, put your hands inside this circle and repeat after me. I said, you see, if you make me repeat myself, I will ask you to strike you dead here and now. Chine, you yes. need to... mm, 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 mm. Don't. If you call my name one more time, I will tell my husband here to strike you dead instantly. It's simple. Just do as he says. Put your two hands together and put it in between this line. Just put it already. Put your two hands together and put it in between the line. Wait. Honey, I think it's time to strike her. No, no, I won't. Put your hands into the circle. Quick! Put it well. Get it better very well. Good. Good. Now repeat after me. Oh, Igbo Bori Mori. Oh, Igbo Bori Mori. If I ever allow Ebuka to come anywhere close to me again. If, if I ever allow Ebuka to come anywhere close to you again. Conscience. Moni, if I ever allow Ebuka to come anywhere close to me again, you are Maraji. No, Uncle, you said me. That is you now. My friend, you want to, she wants to get me angry. You want to get me angry. Okay, okay. Put your hand inside. Now repeat after me. If I ever allow Eboka to come anywhere close to me again, if I ever allow Eboka to come anywhere close to me again, you are again. Let you go to Mori. Strike me, I'm not with incredible madness. Go oh, yeah. Let's <laughs> I had to go deeper into the forest for me to get enough. I wouldn't want them to send you here again anytime soon. Wait a minute. I thought you said your father asked you to go and get firewood. Or you were getting firewood for your father. Amarachi. The truth is that my father does not use firewood to cook. He uses gas stove. And it's not an evil man like your uncle and Chine who send you here to come and fetch firewood almost every day. Even though they have gas stove and do not need firewood. Only God knows how they sleep at night with evil in their hearts. Well, like you said, only God knows. Um, well, uh, I'm actually... What you told me about um, Chine, is it true? Well, um, unfortunately it is. She lost her pregnancy and she was told at the hospital that her reproductive system might not function well again. Meaning she might not be able to give birth again. Oh, wow. So, um, what really happened to her? Well, maybe this time the spirit of my parents decided to rise against them and fight for me. Well, well, I'm not a superstitious person. But if that was the case, then they are indirectly telling you that I'm doing the right in fighting for you. If 
Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I'm taking this risk because you are human and you deserve better. Right? I've sued your uncle though. Really? Yes. yes. Pack up, let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't worry, let me handle it. Let me handle it. How did you get this, please? A court belief brought it to me a while ago. What? So Ebuka went ahead to see you as he threatened? After I refused to do it for him? Oh God, what have I done to this boy? What have I done? But it's to Goji. This is a red line for me. I, I have tolerated this boy all this while simply because you have been begging on his behalf. And it was it's that of the picture I have for you. Oh. But this time around, he has actually pushed me beyond my elasticity. Oh, no. I can't take it anymore. No, no, Gucci. Mm -mm. Don't, don't, don't try. Don't try. You see, see, let me tell you something. My coming here to inform you about this before I take the actions I want to take is my last act of mercy. Barista, warn him. Or better still, advise him to withdraw all the charges he is pressing against me and go back to Canada where he came from. If you don't want to carry his corpse. Oh, yes. Oh, hey, 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 please, oh, Oguchi, don't harm him, right? Don't harm him. I, I, I will make sure that this case is withdrawn immediately, right? I, I, and uh, of course, I thank God that the, the barrister that he contracted is my best friend. Oh. Well, he will leave this village immediately. I'm assuring you. This whole nonsense will be withdrawn and discharged. It's better. Please, I'm it has better be. Nobody will say I did not give him enough space to save himself. Okay. Eh? God knows that since the painful miscarriage of my wife, I, 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 I am no longer in the mood for all this nonsense. I'm no longer caught up for that. Want him. It's okay. It's quite pitiable, but uh, uh, my, count me on my words. He, he will listen to me. He's my son, Oguchi. Okay. But Oguchi, please, be on the soft pedal for me. Ha! Huh. This boy. Ebuka. Okay. So, please stop. Stop. Put yourself together. Eh? Just cheer up. Well, let me tell you, his father that I saw some moments ago will go to any length in forcing him to back up this time around. And the moment that is done, we will have every space to carry out our plans against Amarachi. What do you think? If you will worry more, we cannot harm Ebuka. Can he not at least restore my childbearing ability? My dear, calm down. <laughs> Calm down. You see, I, I was telling you about. Uh, I heard what you said. That is not my problem. Don't you understand the dilemma I am in as a woman? I do. I do. I lost my child. And then. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm equally pained as well. Don't, don't you know what it takes to, to get a woman pregnant? You know how you know the stress, the pains are passed through to get to get to get you pregnant. Come down, eh? Climbing all this here and coming down. It's not it's not a child's play. Eh? How's it go? How's it go? To Moluti, to Ben, you know, Ben. No, I think. Good evening. Uh, after, after, afternoon. Uh, after, good afternoon. Good day, sir. 
Dad, you know the reason I'm leaving this week, right? Because of your promise. You vowed that you will liaise with Barista Alieke to take up that case. I want that it just prosecuted as soon as possible, please. Okay? Thank Be you. rest assured that I will do just that. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, convincing me at last that fighting for her is a noble and right thing to do. Thank you too for allowing me to convince you. All right? Please. I would love you to take care of her. Take care of her for my sake. Thank you very much, Barista. Thank you so much. It's okay. And to you too. Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. Um, you don't need to worry. You can always count on me for anything. Whatever thing he has done to you in the past few days, I will do many times over for your sake. Thank um, you. Oguchi's um, madness must stop very soon. Thank you so much. Trust me. Thank you for yeah. that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, um, I will drop the car with the dealer in a worry. He will sell the car and transfer the money to him. He will use it to open an account for you, bank account for you. Yes. Yes. I will send him money to you monthly. Monthly? Yes. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. that. That's too much. I don't want you to go through such stress. Moreover, you're still studying. You need money as well. Don't worry yourself, okay? I know I'm still studying. But I will do anything for you, right? Moreover, I'm working part-time, so I'm fine. Don't worry yourself, right? Thank you. You're welcome. All right, take care. Thank you. Drive safely. That. I will say. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll call you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Rest carefully. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Let's go back to the house.
Otobo. It's me, your coach, your cousin. The only one. Yes. Oh, what a wonderful <laughs> man. Uh, please, can you just help me uh, remove this? I will do that. And open the veil. Yeah. And open the veil. Uh, please, can you help me also with it? I will try to let it go. Okay. Watch it. And open the veil. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Watch it. And open the veil. <laughs> that is me. Yeah. Mochi! And open the veil. Mochi! And open the veil. Mochi! And open the veil. Utobo! Here we are. My compound. Really? Oh yes. This is your compound? Oh yes. You thought I was boasting when I told you I now own a mansion and the biggest produce trading firm in Acha and environs, which was originally owned by my younger brother before he died. Ha! Utobo, Utobo. Uh, your good old friend is now Ogayangada. Papa Olowo, Kishi Omo Papa Olowo. Baba Ulugo for a ride, a mini, eh? Ha! Monty! And up on the vest. This is your compound? Oh, yes. My compound. Monty! And up on the vest. Hey! What, what is it? I'm going to go to Ike. Anyway. That's by the way, I, I love this Panya style of handshake you taught me today. Uh, Utobo. Yes. I missed our days together as young men in this village. Honestly. And uh, we'll be having a, a lot of catching up. Oh, yes. Days ahead. Oh, yes, we will. Yes, we will. <laughs> my good friend. Come and meet my precious wife. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, baby. Marching and up and over. Watch it and open the veil. Come and meet me. Watch it. My precious wife. And open the veil. <laughs> One more. Oh, you're good. Hold on. Hold on. My good old friend. Mm. Yes. Welcome. He's been in Panya since that two years. Oh. Dubu. Only get my precious wife. What a beautiful Dubu. woman. Thank you. Oh, she has opened the veil. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. Um. Hi. Thank you, my dear. Dubu, come and sit down. Marchi and open the door. Hey, 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 you come here, come here, come here. Oh, sorry, sir. Uh, Utubu, this is uh, Amarachi, my younger brother's daughter. Marchi and open the veil. And you, go inside, go and get me the bottle of now. Okay, sir. Welcome. Glasses. Quick. And open the veil. Dobo, <laughs> my status may have changed, but my taste has not. Aromatic snap is still my best hot drink. Same here. <laughs> Same here. Mochi and open the veil. Mochi and open the veil. And this mochi, mochi, open the veil. What? Mochi and open the veil. Wow. Yeah. 
What? You don't want to drink? Is that question for me? Yes. Let me pour for you. Listen, Oguchi, my friend. It's like asking the housefly if it would like to perch on a decomposing corpse. I have to stop you because I consider it as an insult. Taking this heavenly liquid inside this cup, it is an insult to the spirit inside it. Huh. An open level. Utubu. Yes. Please, do you have more in the house? Huh? Is there more in the house? Shukuabiyama. Get more, get more. More? Did you say more? My friend Ogochi, you are a rich man, are you not? Yes, I am. Of course I am. Uh, yes, get more, get more. Uh, Amarachi, please go and bring another bottle. I said go and bring another bottle. Oh, cheap and open the fire. Oh. More cheap and open the fire. Oh, Ogochi. Is the drink coming from Congo Brazzaville? Oh, oh, Utubu, calm down. She will soon be here with it. More drink and open the van. More drink and open the van. More drink. And open the veil. Hey. Utubu, I guess that is the title they gave you when you did what you just did for us now in Banya. No, no. Mochi and open the veil is an exclamation from my former girlfriend in Panya. When Mumuwa Utubu Wakborogo is on top of her, grinding her red paper. Hey. Ogochi, that is a bedroom ringing tone. I can't quite remember what she said is the meaning. But for me, here and now, it means God bless my soul. Bless your soul. And this ukubara. Ukubara. What, 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 what is the meaning of that? Are you stupid or something? Hey, shut up. Don't no, no, mind how you talk to Tobo. What a priest. <laughs> so? He's not online touching. Did he use Scotland on you? Come on, get, 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 get inside. I said, get inside. Such soft, pretty bottom. Mochi. And open the veil. She's my younger brother, said daughter. A daughter. You've said that before. It's like in high crime. No. Ha. Ah, not at all. Mochi. And open the veil. Do you like her? Very much. In fact, I want to have her as my wife. If you agree, how about that? Igogori Mori. Igogori Mori. You are very powerful indeed. Huh? So fast. So fast. Open the veil. Mochi! And open the veil. Masi, please just hold yourself. Hold yourself. I'm tired. Eh? Jesus Christ. 
Yes. Please go quick. Watch it. Hand up, hand up. Masi, keep quiet. Please keep quiet. I will keep quiet, my love. My sweetheart. Yes. See, I swear to God, if you as much as call me, call me that name again, I will drop you here and go home. How many times have I warned you today, Lord, not, not to address me like that? Eh? Mochi and open the veil. Mami, for an open the veil. I'm sorry. I forgot. Let's go. Let's go, please. Mami, please hold yourself. Mochi and open the veil. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Hi. Chai. Mm. Oh, Mm. Tinaya, God will punish the two of you for humiliating me this way. God will punish the two of you for forcing me to take, take this idiot home. Mm. Eh? Tobo. Idiot. Mm. Please just hold yourself. Let me pick up this cap. Mm. Hold yourself now. Just move, let me drop you in your house. Marchi! And open the door. Sh shut up. Just keep quiet. Let me know what I'm dealing with. Marchi! And open the door. Masi, hold yourself now. Hold yourself. I'm tired. I'm tired now. Uh -uh. Marchi! And open the door. Marchi and open the verse. Utobu, can you just keep short so that we can get to your house? We're here already. Save this energy, Biko. Marchi and open the verse. Oh, yes. Utobu, move now. What is it? Thank you, my love, for helping me back to the comfort of my bedroom. Eh? Just shut up! Shut up! How many times have I warned you to stop calling me that? I have warned you! Stop calling me your love! Who is your love? Eh? Chimu! Utobo! Chiru! You're wetting yourself! Hi! Good gracious. So it is this wasted so long who got you calls a friend. This thing! After the show of shame you put up in the house, they still forced me to bring you back home. Anyway, Amarachi shouldn't even be asking. Anything that would humiliate me is fun to them. I shouldn't be surprised. Idiot. Let me go. Jesus Christ. Let me go home and wash this, this thing off my body. Also, you also keep that one here back. Sleep here. Jesus. You called me. Yes, I called you. Um, I called to tell you that my precious wife here and I have decided to grant your request to be allowed to learn a vocational craft. Yeah, hold on, I've not finished. Yes, pending when you go back to the university to complete your education. As soon as you make up your mind on what to learn, let us know so that payment can be made to whoever will teach you. 
and you start. Hey, really? Yes. Hey, Uncle, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. You make heaven, Uncle. You are very good. Yeah. You you will make him even for me. You, are you wishing me dead? No, I, I I didn't mean it that way. I was I was only just trying to show how grateful I am. Have I finished enjoying these things and you're asking me to go to heaven but now, this early? Sorry, sorry, sir. So, thank you. Hey, thank you, Uncle. Sorry. 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 You're welcome. Um I I have made up my mind on what I want to learn, Uncle. Yes, so I, was it? I want to learn bead making. There's a woman from Mozara community, our neighboring community I want to learn from. Okay. I've spoken to her about it already. Okay, so uh, how much is she charging? She said I'll have to pay 40,000 Naira for two months intensive training. Uh, yes, but the money can be paid in installments. Really? Uh, 40,000 Naira? Okay. In that case, we we're going to <clears throat> make bullet payments to her. Sir? I said we are going to give her bullet payment. That is, you want to shoot her? We are going to pay her once, no installments. Oh. Yes, and uh, in addition to that, you'll be receiving one thousand five hundred naira every day to cover up for your transportation and feeding. Thank you very much, Uncle. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Chinaye. Thank you very much. You all are very nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't understand. If he wanted to kneel to think, he can actually kneel to think. Ah, it's not a problem. Thank you. I should actually kneel. <laughs> oh, I can stand up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle. Let me check what I put on the fire. See, yeah, this whole thing is out of the magnanimity of her heart. That this is coming from. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. God bless you too. Thank you. Watch it and open the bed. Let me fill my cup. Watch it and open the bed. Watch it! I'll open the way. Yes. Oh. oh! Here comes the lady of the moment. My love! My Odara! My morning star! Yes. <laughs> oh, please get away from oh. me! Hey! Get away from me! What is the meaning of this nonsense? Have you gone bonkers? Amarachi, what, what did you just do? Amarachi. What's impetus? That is a wrong wrestling move, my Odara. Throwing Utobo Borogo without warning is a wrong word. A a am I wrong? Uh, no, you're never wrong, Utobo the Great. You're not. You had it from your uncle, didn't you? Uh, please, please, Uncle Oguchi. I beg you in God's name. Want this drunk here to stop addressing me like that, else I will break his head one day. Oh, what is wrong with you? Oh, shut up your mouth and go and help him up. What? Do not make me repeat myself. You heard me. That is an abominable thing to do to your... Uh, hey, 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 hey. Utobo. Watch it and open the bed. Watch it and open the bed. Utubu, try and stand up. Hey! 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 Watch it and open the bed. Odogu! Ogarenangada! Oh, my friend, do you still have more bottles in your house? I have many more bottles for you, but if you don't sit down, you will not get it. It's okay. Ukobo Wamporogu will quietly and obediently sit down. Yes. 
Watch it. I'm up and the verb. I'm Sir. That was too bad for you to do to a man who is old enough to be your father. Yes, I, I understand your, 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 your disgust, but uh, there are other ways to handle it than going physical. Uh, Uncle, I'm hey, sorry, but hey. I... Amanachi, you will have to apologize to him by coming before me now, collect a cup of palm wine from me, go before him, kneel down, take a sip and hand it over to him. Watch and open the verb. Uncle, I, I will not entertain any argument on that if you don't want to clash with me right here and now. Now come forward. Watch and open the verb. Take it. Do you have to kneel down? Yes. Need and collect it for me. Watch it and open the verb. What? Yapi yo. Watch it and open the verb. Watch it and open the verb. <laughs> no, 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 no. On your nails. Uncle. I said, go down on your knees before giving him the palm wine. Watch it and open the verb. And you have to sip it before handing it over to him. Watch it and open the verb. And open the verb. Watch it. And open the verb. Uh, how much you can you can now go? Watch it. And open the verb. I hope we we'll record everything. Of course. Very good. Very well. Utobo, hmm? Oh, me. Congratulations, Ogum Utobo. Natamia. Watch it. Hey, Buka. Hey. Do they that? Why are you back in the country? Here we go. Well, love. I'm back for a noble purpose. How are you? Noble purpose? Yes. Just how noble is the suicidal madness that I'm sure you're back to start all over with, with Oguchi and, and his cause? Hey. Daddy, can you calm down? Hmm? Do you know you're a fine man? Please calm down. Well, love. I'm not here to fight Mr. Oguchi. No. And yes, I'm aware that you did not keep to your promise of prosecuting him after I left for Canada. Rather, you and Amarachi opted for out of the court settlement. She told me everything, Dad. She even told me how you and her uncle made her vow not to tell me. That's not nice. But anyway, that's not the reason I'm and here. And why are you back in the country? Why? Can we discuss that inside? Hmm? Old Bobby. <laughs> Let's go in, please. Right? Anything from
man. Um, let me join my friend. No vex, I beg you. Yeah? Yeah? Thank you very much. No vex. Amarachi. What? I know you would ask the reason I came back again, right? Yes. I mean, I'm surprised. <laughs> well, I will tell you. Just enter the car, let's get to somewhere private, I will tell you, okay? We have to get to somewhere private before you tell me. Amarachi, can you stop, please? Enter the car, I will tell you, right? Let's go. Please. I will okay. tell you, okay? Why did you stop the car? I stopped to answer your question. You asked, why did I come back to the country again? And my answer is, I came back because I found out almost immediately I left the country. <laughs> what did you find out? That I'm in love with you. Oh, yes. I found out more than any other thing that that it was the love I have for you that drove me to take all the risks that I took when I came back the last time. And I will... Um, please, please, Ibuka, just um, stop. Stop. Amaracha, I love you. Please, can I call you mine? I'm in love with you, Amarachi. I'm deeply in love with you. Allow me to be your man. Oh, you and this moji na umpan deve. You've not actually told me what it means. Eh? That is the ringing tone of my former dear friend Panya. Ringing tone. And it is not your own ringing tone. Eh? <laughs> Here comes Onye Kim. Or you know Bim. Or some. If Unanyam. Look at that here. <laughs> oh. Oh, Samo! Mochi and open the vet. Utobo, I'm Um, let us pray. Let me Wait, let me pray to the gods. Didn't you pray when you woke up today? I did pray. I prayed. In my prayer, I blessed everything, including this drink. So there is no point for us to bore God or the gods while Utobo, the son of Borogu, is waiting to do justice <laughs> to his best friend that is inside this place. <laughs> Let me have your cup. <laughs> hey! Oguchi, uh, let me help you. <laughs> you are my house, or I should be the one. Uh, no, 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 you can have this. <laughs> and then Utobo can always be there. Enjoy yourself. What you sow is what you reap. No matter how the rain falls, the sun will surely shine. If only Oh, 
How dare you? Ebuka, how dare you? Ebuka, what are you back and doing with my niece? And how dare you come into my compound? Now, get out. If you know the way you drove in, drive out. Sir, please, we come in peace. What? Ebuka, there is no peace between you and this family until you stop meddling in our affairs. I have. I have, Chineye. Amarachi told me how the case I instituted before I left Nigeria, how it was withdrawn. Though that is not the reason we are here. We do not have a problem with that. We are here because I want to say sorry. I want to apologize for all the wrong words I've used against you and Mr. Oguchi. I'm so sorry. Please find a place in your heart and forgive me. Uh, what, is, what is this drama for? Tell me. It's no drama, sir. It's a genuine peace move. Amarati and I are in love with each other. And we want to do that in peace. Son is daring me again. Stop him. If not, this time around, even if your tears flows like a river across my bedroom, I will not mind it. I don't get it. I will never tolerate it again. Ibuka swore never to fight you again. He, he, he said he came back to the village to cultivate a, a healthy relationship so with That healthy relationship is, is what I don't want to hear. To me, it is more unacceptable than every other thing he did in the past. Yes. They are both adults. Adults? Okay. There are many other women in, this, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the world. Let him go and look for another person and stay off Amarachi. Amarachi is a fire. A raging fire that will consume him. He confused me even the more. Deal with your confusion. Deal with your confusion. Want your son to stay off Amarachi? If not, if not, he hear the road that I got of him. If you don't If you don't go, I'm well ahead. Hear the road of him. No good. Please stand back. Let's stop it. This is not the way you are thinking. Please come back. You are getting it wrong. It's not what you think. Oguchi. This man is wild. Um, and with that, he walked away angrily. Mm. So what are you going to do? Tell me to forget the woman I love because of what he told you to do? Mm. Honestly, I fear for you. I fear for Amarachi too. But I respect love. Thank you, Dad. Thank you very much, sir. I would... What do we do now? Well, I suggest we... We stop joining issues with him. Let's just ignore him and continue with our love the more. What if he just... Calm down, Amarachi. I support what Ibuka just said. I am with both of you every step of the way, this time around. If that is for better for us, I am sure that your parents expect no less from me wherever they are watching us now. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. It's okay. 
How did he go? Did he give you his word that he will do whatever it takes to stop them from saying? Did he? Uh, that was the impression I got before I left him. What do you mean? I, I don't know. Anyway, let us not waste our time talking about them. Instead, I suggest we plan on how to stop them ourselves. The stakes are just too high for too much talk now. Yeah, right. Thank you. Um, where is Utobo? That old fool. He has gone home. Hey. He was too drunk to be of any use to us now. <sighs> that man. His drunkenness is beginning to get me worried a lot. Honestly. We need him sober so that we can achieve the purpose we need him for. Honey. Yeah. You know what? What? Perhaps it is time to enlist the help of Iwogo Rimori on him. What do you think? <laughs> Correct. That's my sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Give me water to drink. Definitely. <laughs> Behind every successful man, there's always a woman such as this. Barista. Yeah, <laughs> Barista. Sir, Dad. Welcome. My dream has come true. Wow. <laughs> Must be your most precious dream, judging by the excitement <laughs> of your face and the way you're sounding. Yes. How about breaking it down? Well, tell him, please. <laughs> I should? Yes. <laughs> uh, well? Oh! <laughs> 
Thank God. <laughs> you are now my wife. <laughs> so, you are a full woman. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And I am now a woman. Yes, a sir. full woman. Yes. You are welcome. <laughs> Thank you uh, very much, please, sir. Let's go inside. We must dine and wine for this. Yes. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> uh -huh. Udo, what bro? More cheap <laughs> and up and the veil. I like this your pipe. Uh, let me see it. Uh, if you like this, uh, come to my house. I will give you one. Just let me have a look. Not this one. This one is special. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> I was even. What are you doing here? You stray he good. What are you doing in my, in my compound? Which man coming? Let's go. Please, we need to leave here now. My uncle would not like this. I beg you, let's just go. Let's go. Oh my god. You idiot. If you don't get out of my compound now, the next shot will be on your head. Out! At the count of five, if you don't get out of this compound, I will blow your head off. Oko, Otu, Eji, Abuo, Esta, Ato. Please, just. Any, Ano. You're still here. You don't have to be here. Let's just go. Please. You will have No, you would have stayed. Fool. You would have stayed. You could have waited. Nonsense. I know I'm not here. You would have stayed. And you, Dobo. Yes. If you don't get up from here now, I will transfer this aggression to you. No, don't do this. Don't I, do this. I just released a shot and you, 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 are, you are down. What if I had shot you? Get up! Don't do this. Get up. is gone. This, this, this is not the issue of much. Hey, Buka. Hey, Buka. Don't try me. My shame is a friend. I'm a three I'm a I'm a three I'm a You! 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 Don't you ever try standing on the wall of my son and Amarachi to the altar. Do not wish the vultures to consume the curses of both of us. Well, your marriage proposal has my blessing and my support if you wish to know. And I don't care how you feel about it. So, don't try a repeat of what you did to them today again. Don't you try it. I'm hearing some animal noise in my compound, but I don't know. I, 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 I'm not seeing anything. Please, can, can, the, can the gold behind the empty bleed show itself? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? You want to die in my hand? No, no, no. Do you want to die in my hand? You buffoon. Hey! What? Eh? You want to die? No, 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 please. Please, please. Look at the day! You want to die in my hand? No, no, no. I I don't die. No, 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 no. And tell your son. Tell that congenital dog you call his son that I said he should stay away from uh, Amrachi, my, my, my niece. 
If I see him anywhere close to Amarachi again, eh? if I see him anywhere close to Amarachi again, I will blow up his empty skull with my gun. I'll, I'll do it. Tell him to stay away from that girl. They have nothing in common. He should stay away from, from her. If not, I am going to use my teeth. Whatever I tell the man on his manhood. I, where, where is the PIA? In fact, eh, I am going to do him two favors. I will castrate him and circumcise him the second time. Go and tell him that. Yes. Stop. 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 They arrive, from, they arrive from marriage. No, 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 come back here and say that if you know you're, you're, you're a man. Idiot. No, come back and say it again. What is it? What is it? Are you okay? Are you okay? What is it? Oguchi is a beast, a dead devil. Hi. What happened? Oh, Can you talk Amarachi, to me? how do you cope living under the same roof with that beast? Eh? Oh, who is by the grace hey. of God? What, what, happened? what oh. happened? Did he attack you? Yes. The devil and the dog grabbed my testicles and nearly busted them. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. You know what? The only thing that will make me bear this pain and humiliation is to see both of you as husband and wife in no distant time. Hi! I'm uh, um, um, Father, it's Ooh. okay. Uh, sorry, uh, okay? I'm right. uh. If you go back to that house, tell that beast that we are coming back in five days time, eh? For the wine carrying rights. Hi! Five oh. days? Yes! So quick? Of course! You have been in that hell for too long. It's time to legally get you out of that shit. Huh? In five days' time, oh, do you have any objection, both of you? Huh? Uh, um, um, no, Father. Uh, um, please, let's go inside, uh, okay? Uh, let's go in. Uh, uh, no, no, my phone, my phone. Your phone, okay. No, I don't, I never knew that this man is a No, 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 no. Go and get the What is it? I am... Moniki Lode. Ah, what is it? I... I just... Um, I just want to apologize about what happened earlier today. I should have acted more responsibly. And then um, Ibuka's father shouldn't have come here to confront you. Please, I... I'm sorry, it's all my fault. Please, I am deeply sorry. Please. Uh, Amarachi. Amarachi. Uncle. Your apology is meaningless to me. Just meaningless to me. Except you are giving me your words that you will no longer see uh, a book from today on. Are you promising me that? I, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't promise you that, Uncle. It's too late already. Meaning what? You want to defy your own uncle for that lousy dog? Oh, yeah, Lenu. Chini, you please stop. Why would you call my own Nebuka a dog? That's not the right word to use on your fellow human. <laughs> your Nebuka. 
Oh, can you imagine? I'm surprised. Oh, I'm actually pregnant. Very obvious. Naya, that is so wrong a thing to say. I am not pregnant. And for goodness sake, you know I am still a virgin. Oh no, I do not know anymore. Because you stand boldly before us and pray to one man as yours. Really? I only said that because I find nothing wrong in calling a man who will come here in five days time with his kinsmen to ask for my hand in marriage. Mine. Eh? You said what? Kiloso. Onigini. Eh? Is it Guinea? Oh, Ibu. Ibuka and um, Ibuka and his kinsmen will be coming here in five days' time to ask for my hand in marriage. Uncle, that's Mugbe. exactly what I wanted to discuss with you before we deviated. Mugbe. Mugbe, 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 Mugbe. What, what do I tell them? And you? What's that your name? Ebuka Kogini? I, I don't remember giving you any invitation to my house. So, to what do I owe this your visit? Um, our visit is for good. My son here, Ebuka, yeah. saw a ripe, sumptuous fruit in this household. Yeah. And it is that beautiful Odara that uh, my cousin and I accompanied him to this house mm. to ask for as the tradition demands. Mm. Yes. Uh, the truth still means that I inherited so many things from my late brother. Definitely Odara is not one of them. Uh, my late parent did not leave any for me, neither did I plant anyone myself. So I, I, I don't get this parable or, or uh, 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 idiomatic expression or idiomatic jamboree of Odara and the fruit. Where, 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 where is it coming from? Oguchi. Uh, Oguchi. Hmm? Uh, you are the son of the soil. Yes. Uh, I got to the local uh, uh, to Forget that one. I know. Forget that one. one. I am a son of the soil. Yes. But that will not make me accept having what I know that I don't have. Um, Mazogine, tell your cousin or your nephew, whatever he is to you, tell him to save me this idiomatic gymnastic and tell me why people are in my house. It's okay. We are here to ask uh, for the hand of uh, Amarachi your niece is in marriage. Uh, as required by the ancient tradition of Acha community during such visits. Um, Our wine is before you. Interesting. The matter is getting more and more interesting. Put your dabbing no. I'm going to get more. Oh, yeah, Kim. Oh, yeah, Kim. 
let, let, let me let me let me go there myself. Um, I guess this is the young maiden you people are referring to. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. She's, she's, she's the one. Good. Utobo, allow him. I know the way, I know the, the way we, we, we communicate. Mm -hmm. Utobo, uh -huh. now that uh, Barisu Goji and his cousin, Plosebuka, his son, are here, please, I want you to tell them why you are here in my house today. It's all right. Don't, don't worry, calm down. The show must go on. Yes. This show has not ended. It must go on. Uh, Mazo Kocha, mm -hmm. please speak for your uh, honorable uh, Kingsman. Why are you people in my house today? Tell them. Yes. Well, uh -huh. I accompanied Otobo. Uh -huh. To your house to ask for marriage hands in marriage. Oh. Bam. Yeah. And I have accepted their proposal. God forbid. It's simple. Long time, long time. You lie. What do you mean you've accepted their proposal? Yeah. I am not Utobu's wife and I will never ever get married to you. Says what? Says me. You are his wife. Chinaya, uh, yeah, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. As you can see. The lady you're looking to ask for hand in marriage is already the king. I want to do a seminar. Oh, it's easier. Yes! Shut up, Jenny. Why was I doing something? Easier, I want to. Ask for the house. No, no, no. This is not traditional. 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 This is we need to deal with him. Eh? Danny George, where is he? I can't wait to see him. I don't know why an old man like that always wants to make a fool of himself. Stupid man. How am I even supposed to live in the same house as a wife with that old thing? How? A drunk. Oh, I think he's here. Up and that foolish idiot is here. Oh, and up and ever. Hey, come here. Huh? I, 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 oh, what was that for? Eh? You madman, what was that for? You madman. Now listen to me and listen good. This would be the last time we would talk. Shift away! I'm coming on you still. I'm, I'm not talking, you're coming close. This would be the last time we would come here to warn you verbally. Don't you ever come to my uncle's house to ill to ask for my hand in marriage. I am warning you. Marchi! And open the vet. Oh, Hi. you are still marching. Hi. Why not? I love company. Hi! Hey! My old wife, even right before my eyes. You are married to a spirit and not me. Do I look like a wife to you? Do I look like your wife? Yes. Now listen and get this into your thick skull. I am not married to you and would never be married to you. Stay away from me. Else the next time we come to this house, it would be to have sex right in front hey. of you. Hey! You dare not. Hmm. Yeah, young man. Young man, stay away from my wife or... Or what? I stand you or what? Eh? Are you mad? Are you, are you talking to me that way? Eh? Are, are you... 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 It's okay, listen to me. A wasted soul like this should not die in the hands of my own husband. 
So just leave him. Leave this wasted fool. Let's go. Idiot. This is the last time I, we will warn you verbally, I, like I said. I had no... The next time I, won't be funny. I, Stupid old drunk. Let's go. Old old buffoon. Let's go. Let me tell you this man. You don't need to do that. You don't need him. Let's go. Let me tell you this man. Let's just go. Let's go. Let me tell you this idiot. Let us go. Let me let Ebuka. Ebuka, let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Let me let me. Ebuka, let's go. What's that? Fool. What did it do? What did it do? What did it do? Are you mad? You can leave him. Abarachi, what this old buffoon has just done, no man will marry you. No man will marry you unless I reverse it by urinating on your legs again. If you think I am bluffing, go and ask Marzia Lozier. Hi. Hi. Party! An open the man. <laughs> oh, you think I am bluffing? That, that is my wife, my sweetheart. <laughs> my love, oh, that I'm. <laughs> oh, don't jump. Uh, come, come, come. Uh, oh, don't jump, piano. Oh, piano. Hey, come, let me see what I'm Eh, piano. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. to be my father. Oh God. If I were to be your old biological daughter, I mean, would you even imagine this? Would you think about it? Amarachi, if you don't want me to reshape your mouth with a hot slap, if you do not want me to sound you, don't you ever talk about his biological children again. If you do not want to strangle you, Amarachi, don't. Che. Please, I am begging you. Whatever it is I have done to you, please forgive me. All I'm asking is that you talk to Okolokochi. Beg him for me. I cannot marry that old man. Please. If 
you do this for me, I swear to God, I will do anything to make you. Why don't you just save everybody the stress and explain to her exactly how complicated her marriage to Otobo has become to her? I am not married to Otobo for goodness sake. I am not. The man in question here did not pay my bride price, did he? I mean, there was never a time I said yes either in action or words to becoming his wife. I mean, I didn't even hear about this until today. And you two know that that video you showed the others was a manipulation taken too far. My dear, Utobo paid your bride price way before now. Tikwe, tikwe. How? I mean, when did this happen? How? Yes. When? Yes. Okay. Since you don't know, let me explain to you. Who do you think brought the money I gave to you to pay for your vocational training? What? Yes, even the money for transportation and feeding that I've been giving you, where do you think it came from? Utubu brought them. Yes. Isn't it enough bright price for ordinary Udele? Igu and Guru. Apple Mary like you. Eh? Even for prettier maidens. Have you ever heard that anybody paid as much as that money as bride price in a challenge? Have you? More. Okay. Not at all. I even thought that she will be so happy and grateful when the time comes that she will run to Tobo's house and start giving him children left, right, front and center. Oh yeah, Mineno. Not knowing she will kneel here saying this rubbish. Enough, Chini. Enough of this arrant nonsense. Listen, having inherited everything my father left, including his thriving produce business, our tradition demands that you take care of my every need. Everything. But no, you failed in that regard. Peace of mind and dignity of any kind you demand. You are sitting on my father's sweat. As if that was not enough. You collected money from that god for nothing. Oh! Jesus! I have just one question to ask you. Have you no fear of the anger of God? Have you no fear of the anger of the dead? I mean, how could you? How could you? Hey! Good day, Manachi. Sweet, you know. Time for our siesta. Exactly. They can lose soon. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hey! Hey! Okuchi. Sleep is a child of peace of mind. You want to go into the room to sleep? Tell him, go. In my late parents' bedroom. Uh -huh. Have you bothered to ask yourself if I will ever sleep again or not? Now I'm going to make this clear. I want you, I mean two of you, to calculate whatever it is that old fool spent on me. Because I am going to pay everything ten times over. My Eboka will pay for everything. But you know what? I stand here today to tell you. Over my dead body will I marry Utobo. Marachi, you are already married to him. So, you have no choice. <laughs> Rubbish! It's okay, it's okay. That I believe you. That video is not true. 
whatever you saw there, they are all lies. I was manipulated. I didn't, I didn't intentionally do anything. I didn't know. I did not know. Okay. I did not know. I did not know. I swear, okay. I did not know. I, I believe you. Okay? I believe you. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop. 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 How could they? How could those folks? How could those conniving loafers be this mean to an innocent girl? Ebuka, calm down. Calm down. Father, I should calm down? How? How, Father? After all that happened today, I should calm down? Ebuka, in a situation like this, a real man puts up a fight and wins his woman, not swearing and raging. Think of what to do to get her to be your wife if you really love her. Talking and not taking action is no longer an option. Father, are you telling me to go into a physical fight with those idiots? After all that happened with Utubo Oleron? Ebuka, a man who fights only physically for what he wants is no difference from a cow. Mm. Put your brain to work, Ebuka. Whatever plan you come up with to end this madness, you will have my support. before anything else. I would like to give Amarachi double the estimated cost of her vocational training to personally take it to Utobo. What do you say? Support them. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's okay, babe. Babe. Babe, babe, right? It's okay. Stop. Stop crying. Stop. So honestly, I I don't know why you had this discussion with you. If if I knew that you were going to give him money, I I, I swear I wouldn't have allowed you to do it. Well, I I'm not here to blame anybody. I'm here to return your money. Every penny you gave to my uncle with huge interest. Please. You are joking, aren't you? I'm not joking. In fact, I... I have your money here with me. Everything. This is 200,000 Naira. The whole money you gave to my uncle for my vocational training. And oh, he said you also paid for my bride price. Please, just take it and let me be. Allow me have my peace, please. Mochi! And open the veil. <laughs> Sorry, my dear. I don't need the money. All I need is you as my wife and the mother of my children. Otobo. Iko. I am begging you. I cannot be with you. Look at us, how are we supposed to live in the same house as husband and wife? Topo, for goodness sake, you are old enough to be my father. Even my grandfather. Besides that, I don't love you. I don't have feelings for you. Please, just let me be. Let me be with the man I love. Please, Utobo. Oh. Amarachi. Don't talk, talk here. 
쳐봐 Amarachi, <coughs> the feeling is mutual. I don't love you either. What I want is two things you are carrying. I'm um, sorry, I'm confused. What are you talking about? I gave your uncle money. For your ame guregu and oba milk. Jesus. Cut the two. Give them to me. Then I will allow you. I will reverse all that I have done. I will allow you to go and marry Ebuka. Just give me. Utubo Guregu will allow you. Can you just shut? <sighs> Wait a minute. I need to understand where you are coming from. Hmm? You want me to cut off my breasts? And my womanhood. Yes. And give them to you. Wham. Wham. Kehana chona sega kare anuroko. Okay. Fine. You want me to cut off my breast, right? And my womanhood. Yes. And give them to you. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Let me have them. Let me have them. show you how much I hate you. I am going to cut off my breasts and my womanhood and let you have them. I hope that makes you happy. Bam! Yum I will allow you go. I am going to cut them off and give them to you, but before I do that, I am going to cut off your manhood and force it down your wicked throat. Raise your hand! Hey, 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 I'm not, I'm not. You just wicked man. If you ever come anywhere close to me, I will put it. No, 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 let me just allow me to cut off his manhood and force it down his throat. After that, I will commit suicide so that you and my uncle can roll out the drums and celebrate your victory. Okay. Uh, uh, please. Oh, Wasted yeah, pen. Alright, it's okay. Please. It's okay. Stop. Oh, oh, just allow me to take the life of this. Bastard, I want to ruin my life. My I am sick and tired. There is nothing else I can do. Oh, my dear. Hi. I'm up on Hi. Hey, whoa. Hi. Hi. Open the veil. You won't believe it. He took the intervention of a book of all people for Amarachi to back down. Otherwise, Mumabu Otobo Wamburogo, Kareta Udugwa Kata Kamoka Jita, Amarachi would have made Nkobi with my Agabidu, Udugu Yagadi Hedro Mimi, and force it down my throat. Yeah, okay. Is she that heartless? It is that boy. It is Ebuka. Mm -hmm. They planned it all to humiliate you and stop us. Yes. But they have failed. Woefully. They have failed. Failed? Woefully. You mean Amarachi will be submissive to my manhood and she will not threaten it again? She will have no other choice than to just choose a date for your wedding and let us stop this madness once and for all. Yeah, okay. The Amarachi I saw today in my compound, she is ready to kill in order to drive down her point. Listen, I am not ready 
to be the ones who kill. Uh, uh, to I know that scale is invisible. Listen, that girl is my niece. My wife and I know her very well. She's only trying to scare you off. She, does, she doesn't have all the courts to do that. Eh? Really? Yes. Bo, sweet him. Well, it seems to me like Utubu here is not even serious oh. with his intention to marry her. Oh. Mo, she, I'm up on the veil. Mo, she, I'm up on the veil. Yeah, why? Who said so? I knew been cha 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 since I came back from Panya. I want to marry her. If not for any other thing, let me just relieve the overload in between my legs. I don't like this. What is the meaning of this now? Huh? What, 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 what is the meaning of this? What, what, what does this mean? See, let me tell you something. There's a limit to what I can take from a friend. Definitely, this is not one of, one of them. How can you be telling my wife since he was a woman and you be? Can't get him easier. Eh? Yeah, 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 okay. Sit down. Sit down. Eh? It's okay. I am sorry. I am sorry. Uh, just choose a date for your wedding. That is the most important thing now. Just choose a date. Hi! Watch And open the veil. Otobo, Mwao Borogu. Ureno Mume. Oh, no, mommy. But, uh, wait, oh. Um, which date do I take now? Uh, say, six days from now. How do you see that? Wow, Ija. Accepted. Hi, Amarachi. <laughs> Just wait for me. Uh, because, eh, uh, Nge Jodo Gwa, we, we, Pange, Rayot, Nuku. <laughs> That's your fine Ukunye Ji Udogun Udogun Jagani Niye Dio Mimi We Jog E Jog E Jog Yes, uh, uh, that day of our wedding, Cherum Cherum Udobo, oh, <laughs> it's alright. Uh -uh. The mood is a little now. Can't you see that there's a woman in that midst? Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm actually should be for you. children you co-opted into your dance of shame. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Eh? Amarachi, may thunder that is hungry pieces that your mouth for me. May it pieces your mouth Amarachi. And may it blast the living daylight out of you. Blast your mouth and blast every Complete as the friend and everyone will marry your carcass. I'll get vulture. You don't run. Say it. Baby, blast her already. No. Say it! too much! Just last week you threatened Don't somebody come any closer. over the same issue. Don't come closer. What do you want from me? Why are you so eager to ruin my life? What have I done oh, to you? Oh, shut up! Shut up! Go inside and stop it being for your wedding, Dodobo. What? I'll say so. What is going on here, for goodness sake? Dodobo, look at you. Dodobo, look at you. Oh, money. Look at you, you're you just so ungrateful. Very ungrateful. Look at these children that left what they should be doing for their parents. Cracking their head and composing songs they will present to you on your wedding day. Instead of you to be appreciative of them, you are here harassing them. Children, children! Children! Yeah, Mawadu!
Eh? Baby. What? Amarachi is nowhere to be found. She's not anywhere in this compound though. That is impossible. Huh? Where could she be? Uh, I mean, today is her wedding day and the Otobo and his kinsmen will soon be here. Even our invited guests. We we'll go and look for her everywhere. We we'll search everywhere. Are you not hearing what I am saying? I said she is nowhere to be found. All her vital belongings are not even in her room. What? Hi! Marty has played the first one or not, she has escaped. Let's go before her. You won't go scot free. Oh, mm. Gucci. I'm an Aji. Oh, Gucci. My money. Oh, Gucci. My money. Mochi. My food ready. Oh, Gucci. Oh, Gucci. You could go remove it that I ate my excrete and drank my urine for 14 days and 14 nights to acquire a quest asset that I spiritually eliminated him, his wife, and kidnapped and held their only son hostage. The reputation of a powerful man who can never be ever challenged by anyone without deadly consequences in Acha. The joy of charming and marrying a pretty girl young enough to be my grandchild. After all that, this is how everything came crashing down in one shameful heap. Amarachi, a girl I thought that I had so poisoned her life that I have literally dug her grave waiting for the day she would drop dead in frustration is now swimming in victory. Why me? Oguchi is swimming in shame. Ah, Omashio, what a humiliation. What a disgrace. Not done with wounding my pride seven months ago by eloping with my niece on her wedding day and going ahead to get her pregnant in Canada. That boy and his father also went a step further by paying and bringing soldiers to torture and utterly humiliate Tobo and I when we went to their house with the youth of Acha we hired to forcefully take Amaraji back. They pulled us out of their compound. After that, people of Acha, including the elders of the land, also booed Tobo and I. And we went to them to complain. Aguchi, Aguchi, the snake you cut into half has beaten you in public. That is so gorgeous. Agbejoru, Ebuka, his son, and Amarachi, the girl you and your wife called Udele. Abui or De Tendene and other countless derogatory names have stripped you naked in public. Accept this doing nothing and you have become a living dead in nature. Allow them to succeed and, and Ekekwe, his wife and Henry will have the last laugh at you. No. I would rather die than let this reality be. Yes, it will never stand. Oguchi, 
emi oguchi mu ready i am ready for the war you have started amrachi ebuka amrachi goji And we have also fulfilled tradition by eating the kola nut and taking the drink he has presented to us. Now is the time for us to go into the substance of the issue that brought us here. Yes. Barista Goji, over to you now. Okay, mother. I thank you very much, uh, Mazi Aluze. Thank you. Again, I want to apologize uh, for the role my son and I played uh, in this house seven months ago. Uh, we should have been more diplomatic uh, with the whole issue. And um, I also want to thank Oguchi for backing down finally and allowing us into his house to do what we are here to do today. Hmm. Having said that, uh, I want to state our mission. In a nutshell, we are here for a repeat of our aborted mission in this house seven months ago. You're right. <laughs> my son, Ebuka, is here with me. And my cousin, Ogene. Ogene? Yes. Ogene <laughs> Yes, so we are here finally to formally ask for the hands of uh, Marachi in marriage. Mm. Nothing more than that. Mm. Um, if we need to. Good mm. mission. <laughs> Noble <laughs> intent. Yes, yes. Oguchi, over to you. No, no. A couple. Um, Oya Gem. Ah, Daniel. do My people agree with you. You're welcome. Uh, there's no point, no need asking the, the routine question. Uh, right standing before us here, here, it's obvious there was a rescue. And the evidence is clear as to who threw the other. <laughs> Yes, but unfortunately for all of you, he just wasted his cement and strength. Yes, I'm here. Yes! I did it! This is quite opprobrious. Let it be. I said it seven months ago, and I am saying it again today, louder and clearer. Oh. She is already about to Utopo. Uh, that is a life from the pits of hell, and you know it. It's true. It's true, Marachi. I'm going by my tradition. Even in her womb, belongs to Utopo. Ah. And you, you. Let me see you close to her again. I piangam, be you go to If you have a problem, yes. What is this fool talking about? Who's the fool? Stop! 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 Let me 
how you feel. Son, wipe your tears. I know how you feel. I truly do. But the others have said it the way it is. It's time for us to accept the reality. Anyhow you look at it, by what Okuchi did today, he has won. Father, I do not care. Huh? Oh yes, I don't care what you guys are talking about, the implication of what that fool did. Amarachi is my woman, and Amarachi is the one I will marry. Marry her as a corpse or as a living being? Nothing will happen to me. Nothing will happen to me. Our love will conquer. Nothing will happen to me. Son, unless Oguchi reverses what he did today, if you have sex with Amaraji, you will die instantly. Yes. Father, are you the one saying this? A lawyer like you? Lene cancel. I've seen this happened before, son. I've seen a man lose his only son in a similar case. And I cannot stand aside and watch my only son to suffer the same fate. No. Go against my wish. I'll commit suicide for you. I'll never live to bury you, Rebuka. No. Father, do you remember how you fought tooth and nail to marry my mother because you love her? Do you still remember that? Amarachi, the woman we are talking about, is the only surviving child of Chief Ekewe, my late childhood friend. How does that man get me to stand aside and watch my only son destroy my lineage all in the name of his daughter. How? Father, a member of your lineage is in the womb of the girl you're telling me to forget. Did you forget that? Ebuka, a child that tradition has effectively taken away from you is not your child. Life is more important to me than Amarachi and Kobo, stop following me. Stop following me. I'm warning you. Leave me alone. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, Chi, and open the veil. Mochi and open the vest. Stop following me. Stop following me. I'm warning. This is the last time I'm going to warn you. I don't want to harm you. Leave me alone. What is wrong with you? I should leave you alone. Mochi and open the vest. Leave me alone. Mochi. Madman. Leave me alone, no. Keep, 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 keep following me. Mochi and open the veil. Why, Yoma? Hi, Odala Mecha. Aku Gomu. Leave me alone. I am still warning you. Leave me alone. I should leave you alone. I will not leave you alone because you are my wife. Odala Mecha. Why, Yoma? Yes. Yes. You can have it. You can close. No, come. Yes. But if you don't go back now, I, I, I will send one that to strike you. So what is it? Leave me alone now. Is it from Kaduna or from Yola? Tell me. Is it from Kaduna or from Yola? Let me alone. No one. No one. That, that serves you right. Idiots. No one look for your age mate to, to get married to. 
support you and if you and if they kill you dear. No problem. Hey! My love! Love, ma! Hey! Hey! Let me carry myself as. Hey! Watch it! I don't want the bear. Oh, oh, oh. Utobo! Go after your wife. Hey! Utobo! Go after your wife. She's there. Watch it! I don't want the bear. Following you. Stop it. Well, what's going on here? What's oh. happening? Why? Why do you have my bags outside? I'm at the pill that your uncle and this fool that came with you are forcing down my truth. It's bitter indeed. But I've decided to swallow it, having no other option, having no other way out of it. Nevertheless, I still love you. But I'm, I'm sorry. It's over between us. Yes. Let's go home. Hey, sorry. Hey, stop, stop. Hey, Don't kill my wife. I'm not Don't just kill my wife. Shut up. Don't just shut, shut up. up. And me turn over by your so they can do one. Look at your beers. Don't kill my wife. Let's go home. I'm not Let's go. Call, call. Please. Call the hospital. Please, please, please. Don't do it. Okolokuchi, in the last four hours, I have been begging you. I have been pleading. Please just let me be with the man I love so much. Allow me be with Ebuka, but no, you have bluntly refused. I had to beg Uncle Alosie here to come and plead with you. To please let me be. Free me, Uncle. Save me. Allow me be with the man who I truly love. Allow me be with Ebuka. Uncle, please, if I have done anything wrong to you, forgive me. For the sake of my late parents, just let me be with the man I truly love. Please, be go. And you, Amaraji, why are you so heartless and wicked? Eh? Why are you so heartless and wicked? You are married, you are married to Tubo, and Tubo you are married to. He is waiting for you in your matrimonial home. Why are you starving him of the sweetness of kisses? You, he is waiting for you to, 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 to give him that passionate kiss that will bring up the man in him. Why are you punishing him this way? It's unfair. Baby. Sweetheart. Continue. Oh, I'm just talking to you. This no, is real. Oh, Gucci, this is not good at all. <laughs> Remember, what you to you. You're a woman like me. They said our parents were running for their dear lives. When they saw you crying over the corpses of your own parents, who were hacked to death during a bloody crisis in Kaduna. <laughs> Chineye, my parents risked their life, risked my own life and that of Henry. Picked 
you up in the midst of that violent riot. <laughs> I was just a year old. And she went barely three months. <laughs> My parents had the option of dumping you in an orphanage. But no. <laughs> you were adopted. I mean, they didn't do that because they were childless. After all, they had Henry and I. They took you in because they loved you. They did everything they could to locate your own family, but they couldn't. <laughs> they loved you like you were their own child. I loved you. <laughs> I loved you from the deepest part of my heart. <laughs> I loved you to the point that we did not even know that we were not biological sisters until the death of our own parents. <laughs> we did everything together. <laughs> we cried and we laughed together. <laughs> we went to school, we freely shared our secrets. <laughs> we played in the sand together. <laughs> I loved you. I had your back and you always had mine. What happened? Please, I am begging you. Don't touch me! Be cool. Be cool. I'm begging you. Please help me, Bebo. Go, please. I am begging you. Be cool. Please. Help me talk to Uncle Oguchi. Biko. Look, consider. Biko. <laughs> consider. This is your own person. Please. Uh, wait a minute. Have I been the one you've been talking to all this while? Actually, I've been talking to you. What a waste of time. Oh yeah, Mileno. Did I hear you say waste of time? You heard Mom. Her. <laughs> excuse me, Frida. Mm. Oh, good chief. Excuse me, darling. You are quite excused. Egbo? Me very new for you. Me very new for you. I don't want to insult you. If, if, if not because I, I, I don't like to insult elderly people. You know, because you are our Lord, I would have said you are Agbaya. I would have called you Agbaya. But because I don't like to insult elderly people. What is Agbaya? Agbaya is a, is a useless, worthless and hopeless elder. Yes. Close your gun. Close your gun. Yes, 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 I'm ashamed. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Why are you so shameless, by the way? Eh? Why are you so shameless, eh, 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 eh? I'm so ashamed of you. Tell me, how much did this, this drenched vulture here and Ebuka bribe you with? That made you come here to fool yourself the way you're doing? Eh? Eh, what Kilo you go. Anyway, anyway, as far as I'm concerned, your own is a failed mission. Because I will never, Oguchi, Oguchi Kunabaramwanya, will never do as you wanted. What is this? Stay off my path. Baby, uh, baby, baby. He's eh? uh, uh, I'm Don't worry. Stand up. Let's go. Uh, let's go. The gods are watching. Uh, Even your dead parents are also watching. Oh, good, 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 good,
The dead is dead. Dad. Mom. For reasons best known to you, you have kept mute and watched me eat the bread of sorrow that Uncle Okuchi and Chineye have forced down my truth. And you did nothing. You have watched me cry till my tears could flow no more. You have watched me bleed emotionally and physically from wounds inflicted on me by Uncle Okuchi and Chinehe. And none of these made you to act. I don't know why. And I am not here to ask why. I am only here to give you a piece of information. I am going right away to Utobo's house to plead with him to leave me alone <laughs> for the final time. The final time, I said. <laughs> I don't know your reason for not acting up against Chineya and Okolo Kuchi. Please. <laughs> I beg you. Rise up against the Tobo. At least let him listen to whatever I have to say. <laughs> let him leave me alone. I've suffered too much. <laughs> Else, be ready to receive me wherever you are. Oh, 
Mochi na open the veil. I said it. Mochi na open the veil. Otobo is a prophet. I prophesy that you will come. You will voluntarily come to me. So both of us will live our lives as husband and wife. Welcome to your home. Welcome to your matrimonial home. <laughs> Susum, hmm? kiss me, for I deserve it for being so patient. Good supper. Please, I am begging you. If you have a heart, if you have blood flowing through your veins, if you ever sucked a woman's breast. Odaram, oh, please stand up. Stand up. What do you want from Utobo? Your love. Freedom. Please free me to be with the man I love. I want to be with the man after my heart, please. Mochi, I open the veil. Don't tell me you are here to talk about that wife kidnapper again. It is not a wife kidnapper, Mazi. That is the man after my heart. <laughs> the father of my unborn child. Mazi, go. I am begging you. Just go to my uncle. <laughs> tell him you are not interested in marrying me anymore, please. Mochi and open the veil. Mochi! And open the veil. Amarachi, I have told you that your tears, your plea, whatever you come with, will not stop us from becoming husband and wife. Now, listen, Amarachi, it is only death that will do us part. I mean, only death. I will do us part. <sighs> Only death, you see, right? <sighs> Only death shall do us part, you said, Marcy. <sighs> Only death, right? I would rather kill myself than be with you. I can never ever spend the rest of my life with you, never. Baby. Ah. 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 Ah.
Is that Taloko? Is it that? What just happened now? I, 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 I don't know. What just happened now? Yeah! <laughs> 